welcome to my Thursday Genshin stream. I hope that you are having an amazing day so far. And um, I hope you're excited to start the Moon Chase Festival with me. Um, before we get started, I do want to thank all my mods. I want to thank... Um, I want to thank Brandon and Diamond and Raya and Loxiel and Kali and Drew. Um, you guys are awesome stream mods. I couldn't do without you. Uh, hi, everybody. Hi, I'm great. I'm so good. I'm really excited to play through the Moon Chase Festival with you guys. I hope that you have been having an amazing day or night wherever you are. Um, I will admit to you now, starting right now, um, will we be using a map to find the treasure chests? Yes, we will. We will be using a map to find the treasure chests. And the reason why is because if y'all's frustration about my artifact usage is, is any indication, I think this would really go majorly downhill if I did not have helping guidance. So we will be using a map. I'm super duper excited. Uh, <laughs> okay, I see a lot of you saying that you did that too. So no, I don't feel so bad. Um, plus my mods told me I could. So they're, they're the boss. They tell me what I'm allowed to do. So no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's a team effort. It's a team effort over here. That's for my mods. Um, so, uh, yes, I'm super duper excited and, um, let's see what else is there to say before we get started. Uh, let me turn the sound on. Oh, I accidentally started this cutscene already. Oh, well, okay. For those of you just joining, I accidentally did the very first cutscene of the Moon Chase Festival when Zach was on my stream. But in my defense, it was because I was trying to get some fish recipes because I really needed food. Because I was trying to defeat the Abyss Herald and I kept losing. Um, actually, it might have been the Ruin Hunter. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> oh no, I haven't even introduced myself. Hello, everybody. My name is Sarah Miller Cruz. I'm the English voice of Lumine in Genshin Impact, and I also voice Angela in Trials of Mana and Caitlin and Roxanne in Pokemon Masters. So, I'm so glad that you guys are here with me today, and I can't wait to get started with the Moon Chase Festival. <sighs> okay, are we ready? Is everybody ready? Let me know if you are not ready. And what reasons? Because otherwise we're getting started! Okay, okay, here we go. What, what, what? My ears are burning. Did somebody say my name? Oh my god, I love her eyes. Oh, there's a, oh, look, there's a thing. I'm gonna read it. No, I'm not. I'm gonna read it to myself. I'm gonna read it to myself so you guys can read it for yourselves. Okay. Oh! Oh! She's a funeral director! Okay, funeral parlor director. She's quirky and eccentric. We love that. She's got a unique outlook on life and death, and though she is surrounded by death every day, her optimistic outlook has never changed. Quite an odd duck, this one. I love it. Okay, confirm. Uh, yeah, it's Paimon and the Traveler. Oh, and Xiangling, too. We've come to hang out. Oh, of course, who tell? Way, way outside the box. Oh. Meaning you're here for some other reason, right? How might I be of assistance? Uh, well, who tell? I wanted to ask you, what kind of food do you like? What food I like? Hmm, well, off the top of my head, I don't really have an answer. Wow, so even Hu Tao gets lost for <laughs> words sometimes. Hi, Mom! I meant you didn't see that coming. Come on, even the chirpiest birds clock out for the night, right? I'm no different. Aww! Uh, pretty sure clocking out isn't something birds do, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, Hu Tao. Just Keep it simple. Right. There's no need to overcomplicate it. Just pick a dish and tell me what you like about it. I'm doing some market research. I see, I see. Launching a new dish? Well, let me say right off the bat, nothing weird, okay? Some poached fish, a side of shrimp dumplings. That is all you need. 
Hmm, poached fish and shrimp dumplings. That's a bit ordinary, isn't it? Well, it is, and it isn't. Let her like Think what she it. wants Poached to like. Poached fish is hot and spicy with a powerful aroma. It's a dynamic dish. Add a side of shrimp dumplings, and there's your static component. Got it? Dynamic? Hmm. Oh, I can do dynamic. Mushroom slimes do it. No, 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 not that kind of dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> a dish is more than substance. It's a mood. Poached fish is red and spicy. It elicits a response from the eyes, ears, nose, and mouth. That's why I call it dynamic. Shrimp dumplings are more subdued, clear and smooth with a pure and subtle fragrance. I call that static. Combining dynamic and static is how you create a perfectly balanced meal. A union between opposite but complementary features coexisting in perfect harmony. Uh... Paimon didn't follow that at all, but at the same time, it kind of sounded smart, so... Okay, dynamic and static. Opposite, but complementary. We love this. Um, so is this just another way of saying you should keep everything balanced? You know, a little meat, a little veggie, a little salt, a little sugar? Bingo! Except I don't think you need to have a sweet dish for it to be a complete meal. Personally, I always skip dessert. Okay, what? I think I got it. At first, I thought you were just goofing Put around. Out. But actually, you make a really good point. Dessert is important. <laughs> How did I ever doubt you, Hu Tao? Thanks. When it comes to telling tales, the storytellers have got nothing on Hu Tao. Hmm? Sounds suspiciously like a compliment to me. I'll take it. <laughs> You're clearly a keen philosopher. Uh-huh. Well, at least one of you gets it. Everything in this world runs on its own set of principles. Be it the circle of life or sugar and spice. You either get it or you don't. <laughs> Since the traveler seems to approve, you I'll make sure to factor it in. Hmm. Paimon thinks we're pretty much done here now. Let's head to Boo Boo Pharmacy next. <gasps> Do we get Boo -boo to see Chi Chi? Yeah, you'll definitely get some interesting responses over there. <laughs> Does this mean we get to go see Chi Chi? Also, Cloudy Falls, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome to Sarah Squad. Da -da -da. I definitely, I definitely agree with what Hu Tao was saying, but I also, I also feel like dessert is an important part of everyone's life. So, I disagree with skipping dessert. <laughs> Cause I love candy! I like this music. Here we go! Chi Chi, here we come! Oh, I don't have a favorite dessert, but I do love, okay, well I'll say this, I love chocolate, but I prefer vanilla cake to chocolate cake. But I like chocolate. And I like mint chocolate chip ice cream and I like cookies and cream. No, uh, I like mint chocolate chip ice cream and chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. And then I like, oh, I like, well, I like all candy. I like Starburst and, and um, I like dark chocolate and I like, um, I like Butterfinger and Three Musketeers. Anyway, I could just go on all day talking about the ice creams and the desserts that I like. So. Um, okay. My, my nails kind of match. Who tells nails, huh? Okay. Let's go talk to Chi-Chi. Oh, it's you. Is everything okay? Why, if it isn't the special guests who seldom visit. Less busy than usual, I see. Yikes! Well, what happened to Baisha's voice? S excuse me? The neck. <laughs> oh, it's just Changsheng. It's been a while. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Here to procure an herbal remedy, I presume? No, no. We actually came for the conversation this time. We're here to talk food. I'm entering this year's cooking competition, so I wanted to ask you both... Oh, wait, 
there's three of you. <laughs> I wanted to ask the three of you what kind of food you like. <laughs> Most astutely self-corrected. We shall surely supply our assistance. You need to know what food I like. Oh my gosh, Chi Chi! <laughs> it's all the same. No flavor. <gasps> Chi Chi has some gustatory dysfunction and can't taste any food. Make no mistake, Chi -chi. she's not being uncooperative. <laughs> oh, I understand, that's fine. Still, I'd expect Chi Chi to have some sort of dietary preferences, though. There must be some dishes that you like the sensation of. Sensation? Hmm. Yes. There's one. Coconut milk. Nice. I I cool. I suspected that's what well, Chi Chi would that say. Well, doesn't help us. It's not a dish. It's a drink. How about you two? Any thoughts? I like bite-sized morsels of meat. I agree with Changsheng. Many of our patients are the elderly and young children. They find large chunks of fowl or seafood difficult to swallow and digest. Dishes where the ingredients have been finely chopped, on the other hand, are far more suitable for them. We also see plenty of people with colds and sore throats who find it difficult to eat rich food. From a purely pharmaceutical perspective, I tend to recommend soups and stews. Got it! Uh, would that be medicinal soups and stews? Ah, uh, medicinal soup. I don't like it. <gasps> Hmm, I must apologize for having such a one-track mind. It's a little difficult to think about food without worrying about the health implications these days. We've had quite the endless stream of patients recently. If you ask me, I think the changing weather is to blame. That's okay. Everyone's input counts. Keeping it seasonal and suitable for all ages sounds like a pretty good idea to Paimon. Mm-hmm. Important considerations for any chef. Medicinal dishes have higher demands in terms of nutritional balance than the kind of food I normally cook. I don't usually focus on medicinal properties, but since this is for a competition, maybe I can score more points by taking both flavor and function into account. Food with substance. Always better. Everyone will like it. Oh, gee, it's a I great suggestion. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. You're welcome. As long as we could help. It's great to have a doctor's unique perspective. I'm feeling inspired. Oh, how you flatter me. Receptivity to sensible suggestions make for a savvy chef. Oh, she is. Creating new dishes what is What is Gova doing? You. you can be sure she'll put lots of care and attention into it. <gasps> <laughs> Everyone's got their hobbies, and mine is cooking. Usually I just go with my own ideas, but having a whole new perspective this time is sure to make a big difference to the end result. Great! That makes this whole trip worth it! Alright, time to move on to the next. So we've got an independent thinker's perspective, and a health perspective. Mm -hmm. hmm. Next, Paimon thinks we should probably talk to some picky eaters. Okay. I guess let's go find a picky eater. Is it Xiao? <laughs> I feel like it's Xiao. I don't know why. Oh my gosh. Aaliyah, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome. Hopefully you can use, um, hopefully you like the emotes that you can use now. There's the notification. Welcome, Aaliyah! Okay, here we go. Hmm? Oh, it's the Traveler in Paimon. And Shangling. Oh. Uh, greetings, friends. It's been a while. Hey, what That's brings it? you here? Huh? Everyone's gathered here together. Oh, beta! Oh, we get a little... Oh, okay, okay. 
Beto, known as the captain by many, is the leader of the Crux, an armed fleet from Liyue. She is a heroic character who values righteousness. Her many deeds have earned her the love of the people. Her many subordinates are proud to sail under her flag, and the children have turned her experiences into song. Yes, Beto is a very famous character indeed. And of course, with such fame comes folk sayings and rumors, with people even saying that Beto can perform such superlative feats as being able to split the mountain and seas. As to how much of these tales are true and how much are an exaggeration, it is likely that only the legendary Captain Beto herself knows the answers. Has uh, something happened? What's with this great big storm on the ground? Long story. So, just to confirm, I will assume responsibility for handling this stone of unknown origin. Any objections? None here. You know how to get things done, Kitching. As long as it's with you, I can rest easy knowing that it's in safe hands. Mm, should I take this to mean that you doubt the relative safety of leaving this in the hands of the Tianchuan? Huh? Well, for starters, Ketching is the one who's always out running errands, rain or shine. Besides, you don't seem to give a wooden more about this whole thing anyway, so what's it to you? I was merely joking. You, meanwhile, seem only too ready to pounce when an opportunity to publicly lambaste me arises. Even when it means giving our poor mutual friend here the cold shoulder. Um... Is this a bad time? By no means. You wish to know about the stone, I presume. Then let me invite the great seafarer, Captain Beto, to tell the story. If she would be so kind. You... Ugh, fine. <laughs> Well, uh, it's a big one, right? And such a smooth surface, too. Makes you think there's got to be a good chunk of jade in there. It was found by a fishing crew, not far off the coast. It must have been underwater for years. So the erosion will be what's given it that smooth finish. Finds like this cannot be kept as private property, and must be submitted to a holder of public office. Placing it into our custody will also give them peace of mind. So, what's inside it? Well, we've hit it with just about every weapon we could get our hands on and haven't managed to even dent it yet. Clearly there's more to it than meets the eye. No weapon could smash it open. Wow. Hyman doesn't think we've ever encountered a stone like that before. Kuching has taken an unusually keen interest in this giant stone. Which is why we are leaving the matter in her capable hands. Let's put that aside for a second. Traveler, what brings you here? Were you Koba looking for it? someone? Actually, we were looking for all of you. We need all hands on deck here. Oh? Hopefully not because there's been some sort of cataclysmic event. No, no, nothing like that. Paimon's just getting carried away. I just wanted to ask everyone about their food preferences. Food preferences? That's a little unexpected. I have rather simple tastes. Precise, pure, smart, and sophisticated. That is all I require. That's your idea of simple, huh? Oh? I summed up my culinary requirements in four words. Is that insufficiently simple for Why you? Why are they fighting? A few weeks out on the open ocean would fix your flawed definition of simplicity, let me tell you that. What about you, Beto? Me? Uh, if it's freshly cooked and piping hot, that floats my boat. If it's got a little chili pepper in there, too, I'm one very happy captain. I didn't thought you would have said bar food. <laughs> oh, bar food works, too. As for me, it's got to be seafood. Okay, got it. So, seafood, piping hot, and, uh, simple but sophisticated. Not a lot of overlap. And that's where I would disagree. Traveler, surely you've heard of golden shrimp balls. <gasps> oh my, they're my favorite. Uh, you need to wash and devein the shrimp, wrap it in finely sliced potato strips, then deep fry it to perfection. There's no room for cutty corners. They're very precisely put together. They taste pure, the presentation is smart, and the skill needed to cook them is highly sophisticated. It fits Ningguang's forward summary to the letter. Huh. So what you're saying is, for all the frills and trills, good food is all the same at the core? 
I heartily agree. Golden shrimp balls are a prime example. Their essence lies in combining art and nutrition in a single package. It is a dish of true value. Okay, got it. So Kuching loves golden shrimp balls. Uh, I didn't say that. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> no, at least not outright. Alrighty. Thanks for all your input. I'll be sure to take it all into consideration. Traveler, Paimon, do you have anything planned after this? No immediate plans. Good. I'd like you to help me investigate something. It's about this stone. You picked the right people for the job. We investigate stuff all the time. That's true. We do My investigate thoughts, stuff exactly. all the time. The Qixing has a public duty to deliver our final verdict to the fishermen. But there are also some things I would like to investigate on a personal level. I'm sure you've become acquainted with the general background of the Moon Chase Festival. However, I have my own understanding of this festival's roots. My grandfather was a researcher of Liyue's traditions. In his notes, he indicated that there was a deity called the Stove God in ancient Liyue, which people paid tribute to at a certain time of the year. Very few written records make mention of the Stove God, and those that do are notoriously confusing. Some scholars believe that the Stove God was just another title held by the Lord of Geo, but others suggest that this was a different deity altogether. One folktale even claims that the ancients found the Stove God shrine, but there was no statue, only a huge, smooth slab of stone. Shortly after it was found, the stone was lost in transit, and it hasn't been seen since. This stone here has all the same features, so I suspect it could be the one that went missing all those years ago. After many years of researching ancient texts, my grandfather came to believe that the practice of paying seasonal tribute to the Stove God may be best described as a festival. He called it the Stove God Festival. That would make it the forerunner to the Moon Chase Festival we know today. Oh. But this is all just theory and conjecture. To prove any of it, we'd need to start by identifying who the Stove God really was. Now that Rex Lapis has passed on, and Liwa has entered the age of humankind, his successor should continue to respect our nation's culture and traditions, just as he did. That's why I think the responsibility for this situation should fall to me. It's a chance to shed light on our history, revitalize an ancient tradition, and possibly prove my grandfather's hypothesis along the way. With any luck, we'll nail all three in one fell swoop. It was just a couple of days ago that we received this stone. Right after, we decided to use food as the central theme for this year's festival. It makes me wonder. Maybe a divine will is at work behind all of this. Maybe. Three birds with one stone, huh? That's pretty efficient, even for cooking. I'd love to help, but... I'm in the middle of a commission for Xiang Ling. Hey, don't worry about that. This sounds super important, so don't mind me. Besides, we're only... <clears throat> Wait a second. I got it! What? Why are you shouting? Kuching, <laughs> can I tag along for your investigation? Uh-huh. Uh, but... Since it's all about the stove god, I might get to learn something useful about cooking along the way. It'll be great inspiration for me in the competition. Please, let me come along. I promise I'll help. If it means that much to you... Okay, I suppose you can come. Really? You're the best! <clears throat> now that that's settled, time to get going. Kingsa Village is said to be home to a lot of historical texts, so I'd like to start by making some inquiries <laughs> there. Alright, then it's up to is just like jumping go. up and down. <laughs> okay. Well, this is very exciting. Um... I was wrong about it being Zhao, Zhao clearly, so... Wow, that's embarrassing. But in my defense, Xiao only likes almond tofu, and that feels like a picky eater to me. Is that? Oh, okay. Hello. Hi, Granny. We need your help with something. Are there any old books around Qingzhou Village? You know, from a really long time ago? Oh, looking for ancient texts, are we? Hmm, let me think. There is an old warehouse over there. 
property of the Feyun Commerce Guild. Many books are stored inside. Those that they have no room for at home. In fact, their youngest comes over this way to read sometimes. The Feyun Commerce Guild's youngest? You must be talking about Xingxiu. Hyman didn't know they had a warehouse here. Let's go take a look. Yeah, I thought maybe that was Mad and Ping, but then it really was not. <laughs> it was somebody else. Here we go. Woo! This music is so pretty. I'm being robbed! Oh, who is saying that? It came from that direction. Come on! What direction? <laughs> oh, look, berries! Okay, what direction? Uh, oh! Well, my hammer. <laughs> Another test subject. Another <laughs> test subject. <laughs> Get him, <A> D Luke! <laughs> Verdict is. <laughs> jab and cross! Now don't jab and cross me. Fry. Prepare to be blown away! Prepare to be blown away! Bye! Hope you enjoy being blown away! Oh. Fry. Ah. Whoa. Uh, picked the wrong test subject. I guess you did pick the wrong test subject, rude. <laughs> Here we go! Hello! <sighs> I've come here to clean the book warehouse plenty of times before, but this is the first time I've run into these crooks. Are you alright? I am, thanks to all of you. Hey, wait a minute. You're the traveler, aren't you? And you're with... Uh, Lady Kuching. An honor. Truly an honor. Yes. We'll try not to take up too much of your time. I understand that this book warehouse is the property of the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Could you advise whether we might find any text relating to the Stove God in this collection? Um, the Stove God? Um, I, I heard that's the Lord of Geo, right? Huh? Really? Yeah, a friend of mine who conducts research mentioned it once before. We use stoves for cooking, and stoves are built from rock. Some people think that the stove is a gift from the Lord of Geo. And that's why they call him the Stove God. I don't think it's that easy. Seems logical enough. But do you have any books on the topic? I don't think it's that simple. Um, I, uh... I I'm sorry, I'd have to ask the young master about that. Oh, any questions? <gasps> Please, ask away. Hello! Hey, it's Chung Yun and Xing Chou. Oh my gosh! Hello, one and all. Okay, let's read about Chang Yun. This young thaumaturge? What's that word? Th mm, hard to say. Chang Yun was born to a clan of exorcists. He travels the land working to exorcise demons. He is an honest and serious lad by nature and is both hardworking and persevering, never shrinking from any sort of hardship. However, he has one problem that no amount of work can solve, and that is the pure young spirit he was born with. The pure yang spirit is capable of repelling demons to point where ch to the point where Chang Yun has never had to lift a finger to stop them. As a result, he has almost never seen a demon in his life. This troubles Chang Yun greatly, of course, because seriously, what exorcist has never encountered a demon to exorcise before? Hey guys, what are you doing here? I was bored with nothing to do, and thought I'd come out this way for a bit of reading. And then I thought, why not bring Chang Yun along too? <laughs> yes. I'm just along for the ride, really. I see the Yuhang Kuching is with you. Hmm. Whatever brings you here must surely be a matter of grave importance. Master Xingqiu, if I may be so bold, do you happen to know if there are any texts on the subject of the Stove God among this collection? Since I personally selected which volumes to store here, I do have some recollection of their contents. Okay, Xingqiu. If my memory betrays me not, there is one so volume sassy. among them so called sassy. Demystifying the Legends of Liyue, which mentions the Stove God. 
Might I take a look? Certainly. If it pleases my lady, I shall lead the way. Sheng, I will take care of things here. You're free to go about your own business. They're back! So did you find it? Yes, Master Xingqiu has quite an exceptional memory. Demystifying the Legends of Liyue does indeed mention the Stove God. However, it says the following. <clears throat> the body of the dragon wielded a tail that could eclipse the sun, and claws to command fire and teach the ways of wisdom. Receiving the gift bequeathed unto them, humankind cooked food with fire, and thus did they prosper. The body of a dragon? The stories about Rex Lapis say the same thing. That much is true, but this is the only passage in the whole book. If we want to find out more, we'll have to continue our investigation. There's nothing further to discover here. It seems we'll have to look at other options. I come from a long lineage of exorcists, and our family too has amassed a number of ancient texts. Now that you mention the Stove God, I seem to recall reading somewhere that this god once appeared at the Gwaili Assembly. Of course, I can't say if it's true or not. Books are penned by people. All they can do is show what the author was thinking. Everyone's mind is different, so every book on a given topic will give a different account. I apologize that we could not help in a more substantial capacity. <laughs> Your help thus far is quite ample. Liyue oh, is a vast is. and rich land. All things that existed here in the past have left their trace. So long as we do not abandon our search, it is sure to bear fruit eventually. Thank you all. We will continue our investigation elsewhere. Oh, hold up. I had a question too. Xinchu, Chongyun, could you tell me what kind of food you like? Oh, yeah. Food? Oh, no. You're not thinking of taking part in the Masterful Chefs, are you? Uh, yeah, I totally am. What's wrong? You look like you've just seen a ghost. Xiangling. This is a major event. I beg you, please don't cook anything strange for this competition. What do you mean, strange? <laughs> Mushroom slime stew, to give one example. Okay, fair enough. That dish isn't my most popular. But that's why I'm doing all this research, so I can create some really special dishes to win everyone over. Well, in that case, I like cold food. That's because you can't handle hot and spicy, right? Uh, uh. <laughs> yes, you're absolutely right. My tastes are on the mild side. I prefer gentle dishes with minimal seasoning. Soups and stews, vegetables and broth, seafood or freshwater fish, either boiled or steamed. These kinds of dishes I am most partial to. I feel like everybody no, has like from the Guhua Geek. Completely okay, different tastes. Hey, another buds. mild child. Got it. These are just personal preferences, and everyone's are quite different. Are you sure this eclectic mix of opinions will be of any use? Of course! You're my customers, and putting a smile on customers' faces is my calling as a chef. Though Xiangling's market research blade stabs often into the dark, her heart never strays from the noble path. If anyone can win the hearts and minds with their cooking, it's gotta be someone like Xiangling. She's got pure intentions and really cares about the customers. No, where's all this praise coming from? Knock it off, guys. You're embarrassing me. Uh, sorry for holding you all up. That's all I needed to know. Shall we carry on with the investigation now? Over to you, Cooking. Where to next? Hmm. So we've learned the Stove God allegedly made an appearance at the Gwaili Assembly. But today that place is largely a wasteland with few traces of human activity. Long Shuen is close by, so let's stop off there on the way over and see what we can find out. Forgive us, for this is where we must part ways. May your journey be a smooth one. Yes, best of luck. If you run into any difficulties, come and find us. We'll be only too glad to help. Thanks, everyone. Let's go! Next stop, Long Shuen! <gasps> Yay! This is fun! I like this event. Um, also, codename Kath, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome. And for anyone wondering, this is Remy. He's my puppy. 
And I'm Sarah Miller Cruz. I'm the English voice of Lumine in Genshin Impact. I also voice Angela in Trial Savannah, and Caitlin and Roxanne in Pokemon Masters. Woohoo! Yes! Hi! Okay. Gotta keep playing. Gotta keep playing! Okay. Bye, Changyun! Okay, we're gonna go to the inn. There we go. Here we go! Okay. Woohoo! There's Yenshell! Hi! Huh? Oh, Traveler! Who are all these people? Friends of ours! Allow Paimon to introduce Xiangling, Guoba, and Kuching! Kuching? Uh, of the Chishing? She's the, um... The, uh, um... Uh, uh, hi. Uh... No need to be so worried, Yanxiao. It's not that. It's... I mean, I'm just your typical commoner. I've never met someone as high up as the Yuhang before in my whole life. Look at that strong body. Those powerful hands. What is oh, happening right now? This guy must be a really great chef. So, is there something I can help you with? You've come a long way out to end up at Wangshu Inn. What is what happening right doing? now? Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> Legends claim that the stove god once appeared at the Guili Assembly. As Wangshu Inn is the oldest extant building in this area, any historical texts from around these parts are likely to have ended up here. Is there a room in this inn for storing books? And if there is, do any of them mention the Stove God? Well, now that you mention it, we do have a fair few ancient texts here. I remember looking through an old recipe book once. I just need to remember where they're all stored. If you're happy to wait here for a few minutes, I'll go have a look right away. Oh, uh, Traveler, there's something I need to discuss with you. Oh, okay. What is it? We need to pay up or something? <laughs> what? No, I wouldn't take your money. We're all friends here. I just... Wanted to ask if you had the time to make a satisfying salad for me. A satisfying salad? Aww. What for? Um, could it be... Yeah, guy who hangs out on the roof terrace, you know? Good looking fella, not too tall. Shh, don't you think he can hear you? Oh, right. Uh, yeah, maybe. Anyway, you know who I mean. The boss told me to take care of him, but this guy... Let me tell you, he is one tough nut to crack. He usually turns his nose up at everything that isn't almond tofu. I know who you're talking about. the boss tells me about. he once made him a satisfying salad, and it all went down so well. So, I was thinking, could you teach me how to make it too? That way, I'll have something else in my arsenal. Oh, so this is for show. You guys really look after him, huh? Well, that's life, right? You gotta look out for your own people. Sure, I can help. All right then, wait right here. I'll be just one minute. Clock is ticking! 59, 58! Sorry for the trouble, Traveler. We're all friends here. Okay. Okay. Here you are. Thank you ever so much. While Kuching's reading her book, let's make that satisfying salad! Xiangling, what are you gonna do? I'd love to come watch too, but I don't want to get in the way, so I'll just stay here with Kuching. Okay, shall we go then? Go ahead and get started. I'll just watch from over here. I only need to watch you make it once to have it committed to memory. Okay. That should do it! Huh? Oh. Huh? Did I already make it? Alright, thanks for that. I think I've got it Oh, now. I already made it. You got all the steps down, right? Of course. Don't forget, I am the best chef around these parts. Are you, though? Let's go see what Kuching and Xiangling are up to. Kuching, Xiangling, we're back! You finished cooking? Good timing. We finished our reading, too. And? Useful? Or no? Useful. There is a passage concerning the stove god, and it's not what we were expecting. I quote, 
<clears throat> Sixty miles to the northwest is the Gwaili Assembly. Many were settled there, where they hunted in groups, farmed the land, and made their living from what the soil yielded. When the stove god descended, one god became many, all of which were the height of children. As does a star when it descends into the world, so the stove god went out among the common folk and taught them to create fire. With fire, the people at last learned to make hot food, and they dined on rice kanji and cooked meat thereafter. This is a radically different account from the one given in demystifying the legends of Liyue, and also a conflicting one. One god became many? Hmm. Does that mean there was more than one stove god? Hmm. Taking the text at face value, that is what it says. Went out among the common folk and taught them to create fire. So did the stove god really go and teach people how to cook firsthand? Now that's a god who truly cared for their people. Hmm. So we've got two leads, but they contradict each other. How do we know which one to believe? By continuing our investigation and reserving judgment for now. Thank you for this text, Yanxiao. It's my pleasure, really. Think nothing of it. If anything, I should be thanking the traveler. Yeah, you should. Listen, you've helped me an awful You're lot. You're welcome. Not just today, but in the past, too. I want to make it up to you properly, and as it happens, things are pretty quiet here today. So I'd like to take the chance to treat you all. What do you say? Will you stay for a meal? Wow, he sure sounds confident in his cooking. I like that. Confidence is one of the best ingredients a chef can have. I really want to try his cooking. I say we take him up on his offer. Kaching, can you spare the time? It's hard to refuse a generous offer like that. Yes, I think we can fit this in. Yan Xiao, we await your culinary creations with great anticipation. <laughs> I won't disappoint. You better not. <laughs> Okay, go take a seat downstairs. Okay, let's go downstairs. Dee -dee. Hello, doggy. Dee -dee. <laughs> ah! Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Why have they not fixed that? In all the time, why has nobody fixed this? Okay. Elevators. Oh. Everybody, please be seated. Yay! You think you own the place? Oh, so Hello. 
no, no, no. Here we are. That's everything you ordered. <laughs> it all smells amazing. I think I've met my fellow finalist. It smells beautiful. Strange. I never would have guessed that such a gifted chef worked here. The Sen isn't particularly known for its food. Oh my gosh. Everyone likes a good meal, whether they're staying the night or just stopping by for a bite. Kind of we a call it an topic. inn, but the fact is it's much more than that. We have to cater to all aspects of daily life to make this a true home away from home. <sighs> Please enjoy your meal at your leisure. I should get back to work now. Yen Bye. are you taking part in this year's Masterful Chefs? Uh, huh? I, you too? Yep, I've signed up already, and I've got my eyes on the prize. <laughs> Your cooking's delicious, Yen Xiao. I'm really looking forward to seeing you in the final. Huh, interesting. All right, I'll see you there. What was that? Some kind of power move? No, it seemed more sportsmanlike than that. Yep, he's a really talented chef. His food was excellent, and it showed he has a level-headed personality. That's the kind of chef that could be a match for me. I haven't had any competitive cooking experience since my cook-off with Brooke in Springvale. When the heat is on, you'll rise to the challenge. <laughs> You're too kind. <gasps> Guoba, what are you doing? Guoba! No. Uh, Guoba's eating the... Those were cutchings! How could you steal them while she wasn't looking? Oh, my golden shrimp balls. Huh? You ate every last one? Ugh, Guoba, Guoba, we've been through this. When we're with friends, you gotta be on your best behavior, okay? I'm so sorry, Kuching. I promise I'll make it up to you. What's the big deal? We can just get another plate. After all, it's Yen Chao's treat today. It's not the same, though. The moment's gone. Sure, you can eat something else, but you can never go back and change the feeling of despair as your food is snatched away from right under your nose! The dining experience is a trinity of emotion, food, and atmosphere, and you've got to have all three to make it work! I have to say, now that you mention it, that is a very accurate appraisal of the situation. I'm gonna make it up to you, Kaching. Is there anything you want to eat? Anything at all! Whatever it is, I'll make it for you! Hmm... I don't have high hopes for this. But equally, I don't want her feeling guilty. <sighs> okay, I'll let her do this for me. If you insist, there is one dish that perhaps you could try making for me. It's an old recipe from my grandfather's notes. No problem! May I see it? I'll get it to you when we're back in Liwa Harbor. Traveler, have you finished eating? Yeah. Before we do anything else, let's head back to Liyue Harbor. I need to fetch something. Okay, this is going well. Also, I saw I missed a super chat. Uh, Color Knight says, have you ever seen Marvel's What If? And I actually have seen the first episode, I think. The one that is What If, and it's like, what if... Um... What if, After peak season, uh, oh gosh, what's the person's name? The Guardian of the Galaxy, thing? dude. If he was someone different. Peter Quill. So I did see that. Okay, here we go. Teleport! So I did see that, and it looked really good. I mean, it was really good. Oh, here we go. I need to go home to fetch my grandfather's notes. Let's meet at Wanmin Restaurant later. Okay. Oh. Great! I'll go get everything ready. Traveler, what about you? Are you gonna do your own thing for a while? Or do you wanna come in and have a seat? I, uh, actually have something to discuss with her. You go ahead. We'll join you later. Okay, gotcha! Traveler, come here for a moment. Okay. I need your advice on something. 
What do I need to do to get along with Xiangling? Hmm? Seriously? That's what's stressing you out? What's so strange about it? Why are you looking at me like that? You're super smart, and you're always so sure of yourself. Paimon thought you'd never need advice from anyone about anything. Well, that's just ridiculous. Xiangling's always so warm and friendly with me. And this time especially. And now she's desperate to do me a favor. So, is that supposed to mean... We're friends already? I'm just not used to dealing with people who are so warm right from the get-go. How exactly am I supposed to respond to that? You seem to be getting along fine already. Uh, oh. Um... Okay. <clears throat> Noted. Thank you, Traveler. I'll see you again shortly. Okay. Bye! Huh. What's making Kuching so self-conscious? Paimon thought nobody would be able to get under her skin. I'd like to hear what Xiang Ling thinks. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hey, we're here! Hey, <laughs> grab a seat. I'm just running through my ingredients to see what I'm missing. Xiang Ling, can I ask you a question? Oh, we're gonna do this now? <laughs> what is it? Mm, Paimon can explain. <laughs> this is your idea! Why you gotta dump it on Paimon? <sighs> Sorry! Okay, so back at Longshu Inn, we noticed you and Kuching were getting along pretty well. So you really like hanging out with her, huh? <laughs> yep. Kuching's good-natured and easy to be around. The kind of person everyone wants to know, right? You're a braver person than Paimon. The first time we met Kuching, Paimon found her pretty intimidating. She does have a formidable presence. You think so? I remember thinking straight away that she was really easy to get along with. Didn't you see her sneaking treats to Goba back at Wang Shuin? Yeah, she's great. We know that now. We're just talking about first impressions. First impressions? Oh, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> hey, have you guys eaten grilled shellfish before? They can be hard to crack at first, but they taste amazing that way. We've eaten shellfish before, but I don't think we've ever tried eating them grilled. Oh, you're missing out. I'll grill some for you another time. But anyway, Kuching's like a shellfish. Maybe a little closed off at first. But when you get to know her, she's got a soft and squishy side, too. Not to mention that oh. even after her favorite food was stolen away, she was still happy looking after Goba. I'm really grateful for that. You make a good point. You know, Xiang Ling's intuition for people seems really spot on. Is that why she took a liking to Kuching so quickly? Mm, I think so. All right, let's see. We're okay for carrots and crab, and we still got some ham and mushrooms. Hmm, I wonder what Kuching's recipe is gonna be. Huh? What was that noise? What's going on? What the? That bird is huge! Ah, it's the ladybird! Excuse me, <gasps> one shall not be addressed in such a manner. Cloud retainer! One shall be known as Adeptus. Whose name, should you care to mention it, is Cloud Retainer. Cloud Retainer? That does sound like an Adeptus name. <laughs> Guoba's well face! Well spoken. One shall <laughs> let this young lady's enlightened words atone for the ignorant ones of her friend. It's been a while. A while it has indeed been, Traveler. Does one surmise correctly that you hasten hither to partake in the Moon Chase Festival? You could put it like that, yeah. Ah. So even the illustrious traveler has been summoned to attend the Moon Chase Festival. As expected, this year's theme stands proud against the test of public scrutiny. The theme? You mean Feast of the Bounteous Land? The very same. Moon Chase Festival falls during the season when many cooking ingredients are ripe. Hence, it is a fitting time to enjoy the finest of foods. 
One notice the relative pomp and ceremony with which this year's affairs are being conducted, and could not abide to stand idly by. Let it be known that one's culinary proficiency and ingenuity is uncontested in all the world. Thus does one now appear in this realm, that those who inhabit it might witness one's latest creation, a supreme cuisine machine. A what? Uh, a supreme cuisine what? A what, 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 what? What's a supreme cuisine machine? Is it a new invention? Patience. One's purpose here today is to meet and to greet. Nothing further. All shall be revealed before your very eyes when the time arrives. Hmm. Traveler, you are one who has witnessed much of the culinary world. When the day comes, one would be most pleased to see you in attendance, offering your most vociferous ovations. Oh, vociferous ovations! Oh, so invited? Hmm. That which is implicitly understood needs not be made explicit. Let alone official. I shall say no more and dwell here no longer. Await my word. Be there or beware. Oh, be there, beware. This bird always disappears just okay. as quickly as she shows up. Oh, wait, not bird, adeptus. Hey, wait, isn't she technically an illuminated bird, though? She seemed like someone very prestigious and very talented at cooking. She definitely, definitely loves her food. Who doesn't? What are you all huddled together over here for? The Adeptus left already. Yay! Punching's back! Hello! Sorry I kept you waiting, Xiangling. This is the recipe from my grandfather's notes. They're not in the best condition, so rather than bring them out of the house, I just transcribed the recipe. Unfortunately, the texts my grandfather worked with were very old. Usually faded, damaged, or both. Some parts are missing from this recipe, too. Uh, do you think you'll still be able to work with it? Oh, okay. Let me take a look. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Give me some time. I need to look into it. Sorry for the trouble. Oh, uh... You're all here? That voice sounds familiar. <gasps> Ganyu? Sorry to interrupt your conversation. Ganyu! I was in the area buying a few things, and I heard the disturbance, so I felt compelled to come take a look. You mean Cloud Retainer? I saw her too. She just suddenly showed up right in the middle of the street. <laughs> Whatever adeptal power that was, she certainly knows how to make an entrance. Mm -hmm. Lady Kuching, you saw her too? <sighs> Do you, uh, have a moment? I need to discuss something with you. What is it, Ganyu? Has something urgent come up while I've been out? No, it's nothing work-related. I wanted to ask about... Um... Something personal. Is that okay? What is happening here? A personal here? matter? Involving me? Surely I haven't done anything improper recently, have I? Please, Lady Kuching? This is really important to me. Oh, uh... Okay. I noticed Cloud Retainer was here for quite a while. Did she say anything about... Mm, me? When I was young? About your childhood? No, nothing at all. What? Really? Oh, thank goodness. I was getting really worried. Once she gets talking to people, she tends to go off on all sorts of tangents. So I was worried she might have bored you with some stories about me. Hmm. <sighs> Your name Seems didn't suspicious. even come up, so you've nothing to worry about. Kuching, how are you not asking a bunch of questions right now? There's obviously some juicy gossip here. Aren't you curious to I'm find out what it is? I'm with Ask questions! Uh, please, no. Don't do that to me. Oh, of course never mind. not. Whatever it is, I'm not curious and I'm not going to ask. If Ganyu has a secret and she wishes to keep it that way... Nobody should make it their business to try and get it out of her. Okay, that's, that's fair. That's just basic decency, is it not? That's fair, that's fair. <gasps> yes, ma'am. I mean, I'm curious, but if she doesn't want to talk Kuching, about it, she I... doesn't have to talk about it. Thank you. You're so kind and considerate. I've always seen that in you. What's that got to do with... <sighs> Honestly, 
Go on. You should be getting back now. Oh my, you're right. I should. Okay, everyone. Please excuse me. I should get back to work now. Take good care of Kuching for me. Hey, what are you trying to say? Uh, don't worry, Ganyu. We will. <laughs> Thanks. Hope to see you again soon. At the end there, she sounded like your big sister. <sighs> just ignore her. Hey, everyone! I just had an idea! It only occurred to me when that Adeptus showed up. Do you think the Stove God could be an Adeptus too? Ooh, could be! I don't want to assert either way, but it seems highly likely. In that case, we should go ask the Adepti about it! I think my master might be able to help. <gasps> Karina Becker is here! You mean, your teacher is an Adeptus? Uh-huh. She's Hi, over Karina. at Eugene Terrace. Come on, I'll introduce you. Hi! Hi, Karina! We were playing through the Moon Chase Festival. Um... Honestly... I have some questions about... As expected of my daughter, I have some questions about why... There's so much background stuff happening. Cheap and tasty chap Zoe! Um, I just have some questions about why this seems to be about Kuching's internal monologue. I feel like we get so many internal monologue thoughts. Um, Karina, if you want to jump on stream, you are welcome to. You are welcome to jump in the server. Feel free. If you want to join, but you don't have to. But I'll keep my Discord open so I can see if you join. Um, but Karina, thank you for being here. We love you. Oh, Karina, cheap and tasty chop Zoe! You're in. Okay, here we go. Hold on, let me open. Culinary skills are getting better and better still. Cheap and tasty chop Zoe! Okay, hold on. I just have to fix the sound. Today, okay! <gasps> Hello! This year's master for chefs. Hold on, wait. I forgot to unmute the desktop audio. Okay, now everyone can hear you. Okay, good. Hi. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hi, Karina! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We're doing the Moon Chase Festival. Um, I see. I have questions about... Um, why this entire thing seems to be... Because Kuching needs some time too, okay? It can't just be all about the Traveler. I know, but why is everything, like, internal? <laughs> I have no idea. Though. It's like everything is, like, an aside. Oh, dear. Oh, this Avatar thing just popped up. Oh, man, I am not... <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's yeah. Avatar! <laughs> She's struggling. Sarah Miller Cruz is struggling. Um, Struggle Miller Cruz! Struggle Miller Cruz! Um, okay. Oh my gosh, hi! How are you? Good, I'm just playing Borderlands 3 with Eddie. Um, I love don't that. know if you know that. Yeah, we're, it's a first person shooter. And because yesterday I was playing and I got like a crazy amount of like rare, rare weapon drops. So now we're both playing because. We want more rare weapon drops. <laughs> we love that. I love rare, yeah. rare weapons. Are you, are wow, that was get, really hard to do. Speaking of rare weapons, are you going to get the uh, fish sword? That is the goal. Okay. That is the goal. Because I got it yesterday on stream, and it's my favorite thing. Oh, Chris Dandino is in the thing. He's my editor. Hi, Chris. He's Wait. In the chat. I can't, why can't I keep going? Like, honestly, um, uh, the, the wolf's gravestone or whatever the hell, it can go to hell. Um, the fish sword is the best sword <laughs> in the game. No one can convince me otherwise. And yeah. I, I, like, honestly, you could be like, well, it doesn't cause that much good. I don't care. Yeah. I do not care. I live for the memes and I'm putting it on Sayu and I might become a Sayu main just because of the fish sword. Um, because also, I think this sword with Sayu is hilarious. I want to, I want to give it to Felix. Also, the dog I'm doxing is like drinking water heavily. It's super loud. Oh, I don't know if anyone can hear it. 
I'll also, stay hydrated. Also, apparently, I have to talk to Madam Ping before I can even continue on with this. I mean, Madam Ping is like the best, so. Oh, why did I not know? Wait, where? Is, oh, there's Madam Ping. Okay. Um. Yeah, I got my fish sword yesterday, and it was the best moment ever. That's what I want. I want to give the fish sword to D Luke, because I think it would be funny. Uh, well, I, like uh, I have Sayu, so I gave it to Sayu just because I think big swords on small characters is really cute and adorable. Yeah, I feel that. It. And also, it's a friggin' fish. It's so funny. Okay, hold on. We're talking to Madam Pink. Ah, children, come, come. <laughs> You've arrived at just the right moment. I've been looking for you. Oh, what is it, Granny? Need any help? Oh, no, no. You've done so much for Leo Harbor already. I could hardly ask for more. In oh, fact, my old friends and I have been putting our this. heads together to I'm think like, of what sort of gift a game we right might now, give you so in return. A gift? For Paimon? Yeah. Ooh, a gift by the, by the way, guys, I, I was telling Sarah that at some point we definitely need to play Genshin together and do a double, like we can do a double YouTube stream because I also stream on YouTube now. Heck yeah. Um, um, so that definitely will be in the works. We'll figure something out. Don't worry. Yeah. I have a lot um, of things left to do still, but we could also just do a co-op and... I mean, we are domains. also doing, um, doing, uh, 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 uh Kiwi. Kiwi right now. We're playing yes. Kiwi right now. Which is so cute. That game is adorable. <laughs> yes, you guys should. We're going to play again next Monday, this upcoming Monday at 8 p.m. Yeah. Pacific time. So come hang on, out with us. Yeah. Sarah's going to be on YouTube. I'm going to be on Twitch because I still stream on Twitch sometimes. Um, okay. So, uh, Paimon said a gift for Paimon and I'm going to say... You're too kind. And then Madam Ping <laughs> oh, is child. gonna give us you our teapot. So is this where Madam modest. Ping gives us our teapot? Uncommonly so, even. Uh, but you mustn't wait, decline you don't this have gift. The yet? I well, I can't do the Moon Chase Festival because when apparently I didn't my old finish. Teapot in search of the cleansing bell, like, I don't I have my teapot your yet. friend <laughs> mention that you often camp out uh. in the wilds. <laughs> That but I was going to do it like do, a very chill teapot. Especially tea since I, I imagine you still possible. have a very long journey ahead of so. you. Fortunately, I have not yet grown so I, old I have to a see my subspace creation it, abilities and atrophy. And then I haven't touched it since. <laughs> um, well, we could do a teapot stream. So then I say, what's subspace creation? Oh, did my friends never mention that to you? Well then. Uh, okay, so I think I think what's gonna happen. The old folks once received from Rex Lapis, so think, part of our illumination, Madam if you will. Just like gives me the teapot, but I don't have to get started on it. I not too much detail, but subspace creation is the ability to create and a then small, we're gonna do autonomous the pocket world. The teapot that you entered previously was a little trinket created using that ability. A trinket, you say? So, in the eyes of an adeptus, creating a magic teapot world is just child's play, huh? Oh, indeed, the teapot is nothing to boast of. One such as myself must depart from this realm to create a world of one's own. Rex Lapis, on the other hand, moved mountains and seas. That is what one might call an exercise of true power. Uh, but that's enough nostalgia for now. The gift that I have prepared for you just requires a few final materials to add the finishing touch. So then I'll say, what are the missing materials? That's right! Finding stuff's what we're good at, after all! Oh, settle down now, children. There's no need for you to go running hither and thither. <laughs> I have already found a fleet-footed youngster to prepare what I need. What's more, I doubt that you would know how to find yeah, the materials kind of I am searching for. Some of them are very <laughs> rare indeed <laughs> Okay, but days. that happened when I was streaming We Are Reunited with Zach. I had to go get, like, food because I kept dying, and then and then I started the first cutscene of the movie. 
Jason. Oh, wow. <laughs> On accident. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna say, and what are those, if I might ask? Well, for starters, Ooh, I require soil. some shimmer soil from the banks of Dihua Marsh. Back in the day, it could only be found where the glazed lilies thrived most profusely. You would have to dig downward, following the roots of the glazed lilies. And if you were lucky enough, you just might find a small patch I of shimmer King, soil though, there. So I'm okay that we're chatting. Madam uh, King is definitely like one of the no top no one has been able to find yes, shimmer absolutely. soil in this manner since Dihua Marsh came to be the way it is and today. Then after Even we more difficult the to find story, a smaragdus jadeite, which must be chiseled from the rock of the chasm, <laughs> or so it used to be. <laughs> Ever since the Black Cliff Forge opened them. for business, they've slowly but surely stripped the mines all but completely bare of it. In any case, smaragdus jadeite is an adept eye treasure. And the I adept of power within is not something that the, most humans can withstand. I got, like, Extended down to the contact final, with like, it is, in fact, find, harmful and, uh, to humans. Was, uh, Goodness like, knows oh, no, if that child will succeed in finding these items. These things, that would have made my life a whole lot easier. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, so, uh, yeah. tip, uh, when you're, when you're, you know, looking for all of the things, um, Mark down on your map where you find each thing, so that way when you do look at you, the other map, you can be like, oh, I found those already, okay, good. I see what you mean. I was like, but I'm gonna use a map, so it won't matter. No, I I see, I have to map yeah. mark it on my map. Okay, so then I say, who's who's this child? Well, since you're an Adeptus, <laughs> Granny, the person you asked for help, they must be an Adeptus too, right? Hmm, yes. I suppose she Ooh, does count as an Adeptus. adeptus. She counts? Hmm? How come there are so many Adepti in Leeway Harbor? We seem to bump into them all the time. It feels like even when you go out to eat, you could be sitting next to an Adeptus and never even know it. <laughs> Maybe so. Who can say? A fair few of my old friends are rather fond of mundane mortal life, after all. I'm back, Granny. Oh, I don't believe we've met. Ah, allow me to do the honors. <gasps> Yen Fei! This child here is Yen Fei. Hello, Yen Fei. She's the one helping run some errands for me. Yen Fei, I believe you've already heard of the traveler and her traveling companion. Of course, oh, who hasn't? Really Much really has been written about you in the Millilith's records. You became one of that. Liyue's most wanted after the Millilith marked you as a suspect following the incident at the Rite of Dissension. After which, you fought off the Millilith at Julian Karst and made contact with the Fatui. Before finally defeating an ancient god together with Granny and her associates, and subsequently being cleared of any and all suspicion by the Chising. Ah, what a shame. A shame? A shame that we didn't meet sooner. Oh, if we had, weird. well, I can't say that I would have been able to clear you of suspicion immediately. <laughs> But it Yente, certainly I would have been less embarrassed. Uh, embarrassing for you. Allow me to introduce myself once more. I'm Yenfei, a legal advisor. Got a legal problem? You can come right to me. Oh, yes, here's my business card. You'll find it has my contact details and office address. Keep it handy. If you have an urgent issue, just leave me a note at this address. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, I offer a very generous discount for first-time customers. All right, Yenfei, all right. Let's get to the business at hand. I do not think these two are in any dire need of legal assistance at the moment. You'll have to excuse Yenfei. She's always been like this, ever the talkative one when it comes to her own affairs. Are you really an adeptus? Paimo was gonna ask the same question. You seem really different from the ones we've met before. I am the... An adeptus? Adeptus uh, adeptus. I guess. Kinda. My old man said he was one anyway. <laughs> he mentioned that he once campaigned I, with yeah. Rex Lapis that for a works. long time. That. And then after that. that was all over, he went back and married my mom. They had me, and once I was all grown up, the two of them upped and left on a journey, leaving me with Granny here. Um, okay. Well, that's a bit casual for an adeptus. Aren't you guys supposed
supposed to sign solemn contracts to protect Leo at Harbor and all that stuff? What do you mean he just went back to get married? Well, my dad did say that he'd talked it through with Rex Lapis and that he was fine with it. Even contributed towards the wedding gift, apparently. Anyway, let's not dwell on that too much. So, Granny, I've gotten a hold of most of the stuff you asked for, except for Smaragdus Jadeite. I couldn't find any at all. The chasm's been sealed off, and there's just no way in. Couldn't secure any documentation either. <sighs> Looks like the Ministry of Civil Affairs is serious about keeping it strictly locked down. Is that so? Hmm. But Smaragdus Jadeite is really rather essential. Yenfei, are you sure you can't find some other way? They have helped Liyue greatly, after all. It is only right that they are duly rewarded. I know, is Granny, you've told me a to thousand times already. Time? Well, the chasm's definitely a no-go. But job. there's still a chance we I can figure like, out some alternative means like of procurement. I feel like that has to be a position, right? Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you can have that position. Let me have a look. I feel like I deserve yeah. it. Um, I have like, no look, qualifications that say that I do, but I feel it in my Commercial heart. consultancy. Yeah. I support this or, one. Or... Yeah, I think that... Oh, found him. Crossel. A Snezhnaya merchant who once came to me with some legal queries <laughs> on certain articles in the legal code. I support you becoming the adept, if my memory adept, serves, adept, all of them had to do with the rare ores. The adept, the adept, the adept, he was considering acquiring some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins <laughs> and wanted to know if there were any legal ramifications that he should be aware of. Said he was different planning adverbs. to sell them to Snezhnaya. Yes, 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 yes. So, I guess I'll go look for him. With this any luck, is, this he'll is, have gotten you know, his hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite. Or might have an idea of where we can find some. Sometimes that's what makes it beautiful. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Okay, and so then moment, Yenfei like, wants us to go with her, so I'm gonna oh, yeah. say, we'll come with you, but we're not oh, actually gonna you go join with me? you. Because you're not doing problem. the moon chase. <laughs> it's best if you just stand by and watch. <laughs> Madam if you try to get involved, yeah, you'll only risk placing yourself in legal jeopardy. Moon chase well. <laughs> wow, an adeptus imploring us to avoid incurring legal liability. Well, that's a first for sure. Uh, best we be a little more careful than usual while we're with her. Here we go! Back to the moon. What? Oh my gosh, am I gonna have to do all of a teapot to call home? <laughs> Are you? Because it's insane. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Okay, well, here we go. Navigate. I guess we are going with... <laughs> oh, well. I wanted to save the teapot for a stream. Well, you're doing it for this stream. Yeah, Yay! <laughs> for this stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey. It's like sending me in circles. Is it this person? Oh, yeah. Hello, Mr. Crossel. How's business been? Oh, good. Very good. All thanks to your advice, Miss Yanfei. What brings you here today? <laughs> You're too kind. I was simply doing my job. Now, I believe that the last time we met, you mentioned that you were looking to source some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins. Have there been any further developments on this front? Uh, well, yes, Why as a matter of fact, uh, in the end, I did acquire a small all. piece of Smaragdus Jadeite and purposely had it fashioned a into a pair of, of hair over this person's face. Miss Yanfei, it's might I presume that you have an interest in the hairpins? <laughs> I must apologize. <laughs> I've already purpose? rented them out to a lady named Zhe Chiao. Is this how it was when you did if it? If you'd like to inspect them, uh, you may have oh, to wait quite uh, some time. I don't think it was like that for me. <laughs> Isn't Smaragdus you know, Jadeite really rare? Cross I'm just worried like, about the really hairpins like getting damaged so and I think you should being rented <laughs> out. No, I'm not worried in the slightest. Because I signed a contract, contract with Ms. Zhu Chiao before renting them to show. her. Oh, the and now I see it. I understand. I get why he's way overplucked his eyebrows. She must compensate me for its full <laughs> original value. He's really embarrassed. 
embarrassed about this, Sarah? Gosh, why are you rude? In return, I include the claws that guarantee the Smaragdus Jadeite is genuine. I'm sorry, Crossel. With a penalty you know of ten times the Your item's value are payable by me to Miss Dichow in the event that it's shown to be fake. Clocks to prevent it and lights them that way. <laughs> He's like, this is the look I was going for. <laughs> yeah. Or it maybe could've... been. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Going for a Cruella de Vil type thing, you know? You don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna say no ambiguities there. Guaranteed genuine. Except for if there are the things that are ambiguous, one of which is phones? the status yes, of your eyebrows. These terms are very clear indeed. <laughs> of course. We need to know. This way, both the client and I have the assurance I just we think need. You're being to really ensure fairness, you don't know the like original story. You're right. Of the no, you're right. I In don't know. Case, might you know where Mr. Chow is? We'd like to pay also, her a visit and have a look at the hairpins. Maybe this is how this is fashion. Oh, of in course. Leo Harbor. Like, she wrote I don't her know. address down when we signed maybe, our contract. I think he's from Here, Shazai, I'll so bark it on your map Shazai for you. Thing. There we go. It, thanks a lot, that's, Mr. Crossley. You know what? That's what we'll I was missing. Yeah. That was a piece of information I was missing. Is that... It... <laughs> he's from Shazai. <laughs> Can you say it? <laughs> he's from... Shneznaya. Shneznaya. Shnez. Shneznaya. Shneznaya. <laughs> it feels like the sh sound should be both times. It it does. It does. Shneznaya. Nope. I did it. I did it. Yeah, you did it. You did it. You're right. You did it, right. you did it perfectly. <laughs> um. Yeah. Perfect. Um, okay, wait. Okay, wait. Somebody did a super chat and I missed it. Color Knight said, super chatted and said, You've been playing Genshin for a while. What are you more into in the game? Well, I have been playing for a little bit, but I've actually only been playing for like three months, I think. Like, which isn't... Yeah, you started later than everybody else. Okay, now we can go back. Now we can go back to Moon Chase. But yeah, I, I think... I, I think I started, like, because you guys all started playing, like, pretty soon after it was released, right? Uh, I, pl I played once I was announced, so that was November 11th last year. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. I only started, because I think I started <laughs> streaming three months ago, and I only started playing when I started streaming. So, mm -hmm. if those of, if some of you are frustrated that I haven't finished things, like my teapot and stuff like that, please keep in mind, I have not been playing for that long. <laughs> I am not in Inazuma yet. I am just going at my own pace. Oh, it's closer to five. It's been closer to, so I've been streaming for five months, but still. This is oh, okay, okay, this is why. Okay, because for Mood Chase, I have to talk to Madam Ping, and I couldn't talk to Madam Ping when I had to talk to Madam Ping about the teapot. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Master! Guoba is <laughs> Guoba is the best part about the whole Moon Chase Hello, festival shuttling. when he's like just chilling. Uh, <laughs> the also the like master? the like expressions on Guoba's that. face is uh, oh, also master, amazing. How are you also keeping perfect. these days? Are you well? Oh, very well, thank you. Wait, why are what they a surprise it is that you all had the time to come and visit um, me today. I believe because she is a master. I just forgot what of gave what? her that title, yeah. Oh, well, okay. I I'm mean, gonna... she totally did help, like, take down a full-on yeah. Cthulhu monster. So, That's fair. You know. That's fair. Okay, I'm gonna say... Hi, Madam Ping. Hello. Is Master, hi? we came here because we have a question for you. Do you know about the Stove God? Of course I know the Stove God. Does this mean you know them personally? Ah, I see. It's the Moon Chase Festival, Madam isn't Pink it? Madam Pink is like, what day is it? How it's Moon Chase Festival already. <laughs> <laughs> so you came to hear you know, some stories. Madam Pink was living in the teapot, so there's no That's sense right. of time. We're investigating I totally get that, that happened, because I have no sense of time, and I same. don't even live in a teapot. Same, 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 I same, same. I never know what day of the, the week is. The great so. stone surfaces. <laughs> oh, okay. And so are saying, you open an investigation. Madam Pink is Xiangling's teacher I must commend your combat. guesswork this far. That makes sense. No, I, I did indeed know the stove god of whom you speak, but it was a great many years ago. 
moon chase was originally a rite observed by the Adepti. Not something in which the ordinary people of Liyue would ever partake. But over the years, they have sought to emulate it for themselves many times, giving rise to various festivals bearing the moon chase name. On nights when the moon shone bright, everybody would get together for joyful reunions. There would be fine food, fine wines, and choice teas. Later, Rex Lapis unified all of these various festivals under the moon chase name to honor an old friend of his. In short, the heavens were our witness as we vowed to the moon to come together in joyful solidarity, to remember the past and reflect upon the present. That is the meaning of the moon chase festival. Rex Lapis. <laughs> <laughs> That friend made many contributions to Liyue, and Rex Lapis would not have them go unrecognized. Turning this season into a commemoration of his old friend was also a way to honor that friendship. Oh I can only goodness, presume that the Stove God Festival was one of the many subsumed into the Moon Chase Dude, Festival. In the hands of Rex Lapis, I, I, the nation's I, traditions like were faithfully upheld. It is to their detriment so that happy. we must now be the I ones know, to inherit this duty. Um, okay, I'm gonna say... Kaching. Ah, Kaching, that simply won't allow you to be so down on yourself. Nothing would delight Rex Lapis more than to know that those who follow in his footsteps continue to value these traditions and are working tirelessly to do them justice. Thank you. Lady Kaching. Lady Kuching, Lady Ningguang wishes to speak with you. Ningguang's looking for me? Must be important. Please excuse me, everyone. If I'm not back soon, you'll find me at Ningguang's office. Okay. See you when we see ya! There she goes! Hmm. Kuching's a lot more serious when she's got her work face on. Do you want to know who Rex Lapis's friend was? <gasps> yes, we oh, do, oh, Madam oh, Ping! Hey, guys! The stove god is the friend, right? Yes, precisely. There are few genuine coincidences stove in the world. God is best god. The story of the lost festival who and the old friend the... are indeed one and the For same. Real. The stove god was a good friend of mine, too. <sighs> What a pity it is that the god is now gone both from the world and from people's memories. How could that happen? It is to everyone's regret that the stove god passed. But gods cannot be fully destroyed, and we made a pact to wait until the land became fruitful once more. For perhaps the stove god would then return, albeit in a new form. Really? Master, you must miss the stove god a lot, right? From the way you talk about it all, it sounds like you're the best of friends. Yes. Thinking back on it all, there are many fond memories. I'm pleasantly surprised to find that Kuching is investigating this. She is a tenacious child, and anything she sets her mind to, she will diligently pursue. It warms my heart, and... Makes me want to give her a helping hand. Unfortunately, however, I cannot simply give her the answer, for the process is of great importance to her. Kuching's grandfather once researched the stove god, and now she follows in his footsteps. Since Kuching has inherited this conundrum, so too she must inherit the journey to its resolution. You knew Kuching's grandpa? Of course, I count all the people of Liyue among my good friends. I remember when he was the How same old is age Madam Pig? Oh my gosh. <laughs> we will never know. <laughs> the great mystery. Grandparent and grandchild are definitely made from the same mold. Both diligent enough to take on anything and bold enough to see it through to the end. I like to think of Liyue as my own little potted plant. I've watched it grow and blossom, and it grows more beautiful all the time. 
In the blink of an eye, the buds of yesterday are in full bloom today. <laughs> it's wonderful to see. Aww. For new blossoms must bloom on the branches if the tree is to remain evergreen and ever young. My dears, you are absolutely right to focus your investigation on the stone. It is, as you suppose, the lost statue of the stove god. And within it lie all the answers that you seek. I should like to see the stone for myself if you would lead me to it. Perhaps the truth will emerge even as we watch on. Oh, maybe. Um, also, I missed a super chat. Sorry, guys, if I miss your super chats. If there's a scene going, I usually let the scene play out before I read the super chats. Amelia super chatted because I said, like, oh, I'm not in Inazuma yet. Amelia super chatted. You could say you're out of Zuma. <laughs> I like that one. Amelia, you are so right. Uh, we are out of Zuma here. Uh, and one day, we will be Inazuma. <laughs> wow. Wow. I like that a lot. I like That's it. Great. I, I like it a lot. Okay, here we go. You're all here. I was just about to send someone to fetch you. Oh. Kuching, has the stone undergone any changes? A crack has appeared in one corner, but we still can't tell what's inside. What happened? Did someone tip it while no one Is it an egg? It? More likely a natural occurrence. Our weapons have had no effect on it. How would a natural occurrence crack it open? This is because the stove god draws power it's from the actions giant of the rock. masses. Oh, it's the not an egg. I was... Kitchen, the joy of a reunion. I thought maybe it was like an egg for like <laughs> a rock. I mean, it's right, yeah. I mean, kind of, a maybe maybe it's a fossilized egg. All the books say or maybe the there's like a rock dragon inside of it. I don't know. So is the stone <laughs> opening up because everyone's like ja uh, like Zhongli's baby or something? <laughs> Statues draw power <laughs> from their people. Zhongli's future. So the stove god has dominion over cooking. Kind of child, I guess. Yeah. Or like in, into the or rock like dragon. To the stove or like in the and Rex Lapis, like of the bounteous land is this year's In theme. the Rex Lapis. And now um, every chef signed up for the competition is busy preparing. That Rex Lapis, Lapis left behind. Is not an a new one. a new dragon will emerge. I mean, technically, Zhongli kind of has like a rock baby, and it's Ajdaha, and he just left Ajdaha, and Ajdaha was. Oh, I haven't gotten to Ajdaha yet. Oh, right. You'll get it. so far. I'm so far behind. You could uh, like I I just gave a really poor poor. Uh, I mean, I know, I know of Ajdaha. Right. I, but, I like, recorded. the story that I just we'll gave is a very, is a very, um, derivative okay. version of what actually went on. Gives us a Honestly, opportunity. you could literally the tell me space of masterful chefs word for word, and I would forget by the time I get there, so. Yeah, I feel like that was, like, oh my god, I had a Genshin <laughs> session today. What did we do? I have no idea. Like, I couldn't break NDA if I tried. Got, like, right now. I couldn't tell you. Yeah, um, because like, uh, like I, I, you know, as a voice actor, sure, when you're only working on one project at a time, I could definitely see how you could retain that information a little bit easier. Yeah. But when you're working on like, because as a voice actor, you're usually not working on one project at a time. You're working on multiple. Mm -hmm. So like, if I'm working on five different projects, which I may or may not be doing at the moment, I... I can't retain any of that information because my brain will not let me. It's like, nope, you yeah. got another job to do. Forget yeah. everything. Um, for those of you just joining, uh, my name is Sarah Miller Cruz. I'm the English Voice of Lumi, and I'm here with Karina Becker, who is the Hi. English Voice of Paimon. Um, I will say this: like when I used to do shows, a week mm. after the show, I wouldn't be able to remember. Like. <laughs> Yeah, for theater and stuff. Just because, like, I feel like my brain, I feel like a lot of people's brains are like this, where it's like, we retain the information for as long as we need it. And then the minute you don't need it, your brain's like, okay, hand Bye. throw it. Yeah, exactly. Or like, or like, when you study really hard for a test, and then like the next year, the teacher's like, ah, you guys know all of this. And everyone's like, I don't remember any of that, because you didn't need it for a full year. So it's yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, so oh, let's see. We should be able to help. Okay. Yes. For a chef as accomplished as yourself, I'll be right getting back. to the final should be okay. a breeze. All this talk of cooking competitions is making Paimon hungry. 
Oh, Baimon can't wait! It'd be great if Baimon could take a nap and then wake up when it's the finals. No, we're not done. We're not done. We're we're doing the Moon Chase Festival. Teleport waypoint unlocked. Where? Is this a now is this now a teleport waypoint? What? Zulu, are you here to play with me? It just said teleport waypoint unlocked. Where? <laughs> Okay, well. Huh. This one? Huh? If you hear chirping, that would be Zulu. Um, okay, I think I'm confused about what's going on. Because now when I go to my, like, quests, it doesn't have moon chase. Except for the many matters of the Moon Chase Festival. Right, so now you actually have... Oh, Zoo is very excited about it. Now yeah. you have basically the part where you get to kind of... um, What's the word? Oh, you get to go for that fish. <gasps> yes, okay, okay, okay. So um, I'm going to go talk to this then, person. Yeah, it's just a way to get like... Primo I have to like I have to like do work before we can finish up the Moon Chase Festival. Mm hmm Okay. Um, this girl says, Hmm, I need another place. No, I need to place another batch of treasure chests, don't I? And then I say, Did I uh, miss? <laughs> oh here's another thing. Um, don't ask her where those treasure chests are until you get to the like the point where you literally uh, can't need, find any more. Need them. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna say, did I hear someone mention <laughs> treasure chests? And then yes. she says, eh? Oh, it's it's you, traveler. Are you gonna take part in the Moon Chase Festival as well? And I'm gonna say, <laughs> why does she sound like an SNL character? I give them all really bad voices. <laughs> and then Great. I say, <laughs> you could say that. And then she says, then you've come at the right time. The Adventurers Guild is organizing an event to celebrate the festival. Okay, so for everybody complaining that Lumine doesn't talk enough and Paimon talks too much, are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Oh, and then, I'm uh, kidding. Sarah's actually a fantastic voice actress. But um, also, we'll I would know. pay for Lumine to sound like this for the rest of my life. <laughs> would you... So then she says, would you like to know more? And then I say, um... What activities are we talking about here? She says, During the Moon Chase Festival, the guild has placed Moon Chase charms in various places. Those who find these charms can bring them back to us in exchange for various rewards. We've also dispatched a group of adventurers to place a large batch of special treasure chests out in the wild. These She's special treasure chests <laughs> come filled with all manners of goodies. Which we've prepared just for this occasion. She's Other than so these two, more impressive than you are in real life. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Other than these two activities, we've also got some tough challenges lined up for elite adventurers. Mm. As for the details, it's well, it involves invading a series of monster caps. Um, <laughs> and I'm gonna say that's got nothing to do with the Moon Chase Festival at all. And then she goes, <laughs> I mean, you don't have to put it like that. <laughs> yep. There's prizes to be had for beating these monsters. And then I'll say, that's not at all different from normal commissions. Come on. Please, just help us out. Most of our adventurers have left to go enjoy the festival. And many of our commissions are just sitting there with no one to take them. So I'm, she's crying. For anyone. You mean no one wants a fish sword? I doubt that. Also, uh, so she's crying. She's crying. She's crying. Just lend a hand <laughs> with your skills. It'll be a breeze, won't it? And then I'll say, oh, oh fine. And then <laughs> she's like, she's like recovering from it. She's like, oh, of course, you'll be co compensated fairly, traveler. Don't worry. I'll be here throughout the moon. She's fine. And then she's, she like wipes the tears away and then she's fine. I'll be here throughout the Moon Chase Festival. If you have any questions, just ask me directly. We're counting on you, traveler. 
Well then, enjoy the festival! And that's the end of that scene. So I feel like we all grew and learned. Um, I told you I had a lot for you when you leveled up, babe. Okay, so... I know, I know, I know. Some of you heard I almost said you'll be constipated <laughs> instead of you'll be con <laughs> compensated. I'm glad you caught that. <clears throat> I'm glad you caught that. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> Someone said that with just that voice, I earned a subscription. <laughs> Lol, that's, oh, that's great. Funny. Thank you, thank you. I hope that you guys enjoyed my voice acting. Okay, wait, so now I have to go fight stuff. What's that? Are these... Huh? Let's zoom out. Zooming out? Wait, so... They're they're all basically... You can look at... um If you look at the event... Oh, is it the little that. cards? It's I like, think so. It's the little, like... It's the little, like, cards, I think. Yeah, if you go to the event banner... Oh, that's one of the events, but um, that's not the one that gets you the fish. What's the but event it is an banner? event. Um, if you go to the start menu. <sighs> uh, <laughs> the one that shows you like all, all of everything. <laughs> Are you playing on controller? Yeah, this one? Um, uh, press that middle button. The PS4? The PS5? Oh, yeah. You're, you're... No. Oh, there you go. You're there. Now let's see oh. where it says events. Special events. Okay. Yep. Just... Yeah, the events part. Right in the... No, not the no. special. No, my bad. Oh, oh I, I didn't know there was... I see. Yeah. I see, I see. Okay. I didn't realize there's one that says special events. What the hell? Okay, so oh, so I need to do moon chase tails first. Uh, you don't have to do them first. You want um, but if you want the fish, you want to go to Moonlight Seeker. Current area collection for the Moonlight Seeker part. Yeah. Uh sorry. I'm like behind because I'm watching your stream. Yeah, there's a lag. Like, there's okay, a there's so a bit you, of a lag. Then you can say go to collect. And is this where I go to get the treasure chest? Um so yeah, when you um it, it should show you like that area. Yeah, it outlined it. That's where all of the treasure chests and the jade things are okay so um, right now we're doing treasure chest slash jade hunting yes so okay. you'll want to fast travel to that area where it is which is in like basically near mount outzong okay i'm all may or may not also be pulling up my map of the chest so that i have uh also okay to do that <laughs> just based on the last stream i did where everyone was not at all happy with how i don't know what artifacts. It's okay, mean. again, I just did this yesterday and I was dumb, did not have a map up at first, regretted that decision. Oh my God, did I just pull another orange thing? Xander, <gasps> thank you for the super chat. Xander says, yay, let the treasure hunt begin. Yay, fish claymore. I got a, I got another gold thing. Okay. Um. But, uh, yeah, so basically mark them on your map, like, put a pin on your map when you get each one, so that way it's easy to tell if you got them already. Okay. When you compare maps. Okay. Uh, I also wish I had done that yesterday. I didn't at first, so I had to literally go through each one, like, retrace my steps. Ooh, not ideal. Yeah. Okay. It sucked. Okay, here we go. Especially because some of them are really high up and some of them are low, like, at ground level, so it's like confusing kind of sometimes. Okay, there's one here-ish. I don't like that. Ah, I'm falling. Oh, I Where can't are you? Well, I really Wait, don't you like- Wait, you went north. You went the wrong way. 
No, I did it. Oh, no, you did it. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I can't see. Don't listen to me. I'm is stupid. Is that it? Is it the one look, covered look. or the one that's just like open? Yeah, the uh, the one that's above the umbrella, that's a jade thingy or whatever. <laughs> You're gonna need all of the jade. Um, I literally. We'll need I, more where first that of all, came from. you don't even. I don't like you, and I think you know I don't like you, and I think you. It's deserved. <gasps> oh, it's the Sonic the Hedgehog. What's that? Um, oh, because they roll around like Sonics. Um, uh, they're not Sonics. Uh, I could just call them Sonic the Hedgehogs. Ha! Because Get him, I Luke! like Paimon give all of the bad guys really um, ugly future. nicknames. As you should. As yeah. You should. So, so like you know the electric um, lady or whatever. Um, she's Electa Ho. <laughs> 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 and then, and then there's that there's that water mage which is thirsty bitch. Oh my god. Um, Karina. I know. Oh. <laughs> um, and then and then there's frigid bitch, which is the icy version of those those ladies. Um, and then those guys are Sonic the Hedgehogs because they roll around like Sonic. Cause rolling around at the speed Ooh. of two. I suppose this um, will do. If you remember that, that chest, song from that like, game, that chest just like let out confetti. That was exciting. Yeah, all of these chests let out confetti, and it's really cool. Okay, I like it. Okay, so, okay, how do I mark my map? Okay, I think I know. Zoom in. Hello. Okay, zoom in. All right, let's leave one right here. Pin. Is there a treasure chest one? Um, in this area? I don't I'm just remember. gonna do the star. I, I think I did fish hooks yesterday because I was like, yeah, fish hooks for the fish sword. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. But you can do whatever makes sense to you. You know what? I'm not going to lie. Nothing makes sense to me. Um, I'm just oh, trying okay. my best. Okay. Here we go. I'm going the complete wrong direction. I'm I'm literally looking at a map and I'm still going in the wrong direction. <laughs> wow. What a joy. Oh, there it is. Maybe. It's hard to tell. I think that's it. Oh, oh boy. no, that is one. That Oh wait, here it is. Right? It's this one. <laughs> the Mist Moon chest. Yeah. I'll keep this close. I'll keep this close. That's that's right. All of the characters now have like lines that they say when they open up chests now, which I think is really nice. Yeah, I like I'm my glad I like my lines. That addition. No, I like the, I like the addition of the chest opening lines. Mhm. Mm okay. Bam ba bam bam ba. Here we go. Where are you? I know I saw you up here somewhere. I saw you up here somewhere. I saw you up here somewhere. And I know you're here. There you are. <laughs> I'll keep this close. I'll keep this close. Also, Karina is the person that made me realize that not everyone else immediately says the lines as they hear them. No, are we supposed? No, I usually <laughs> yell at Paimon saying how dumb they are. No, but like, like if, <laughs> like, like my, like if D Luke goes like, like 
verdict is, then I say it immediately after. Like, I can't help it. I just like, and like when Yula goes like, Rock and Ruin, I'm like, Rock and Ruin! Okay, like, that has the same energy though as um, Ewan McGregor when he was on Star Wars and he was doing the <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. They, he could not stop doing the noises and like george lucas was apparently like hey like you got to stop that like we, oh like gonna like of the in. lightsabers like, yeah of the lightsaber like he was making the noise with his mouth that because be me. he like he had his inner kid like immediately come in because of course we all did that when we were kids pretending to have lightsabers and stuff right we were like zoom, zoom, you know whatever yeah, yeah, and yeah. then like um and so yeah he uh he was doing it like this is a professional actor that I'm pretty sure trained in Juilliard and he's literally doing zhong, zhong, yeah, while as, on a set getting paid millions do. of dollars to be Obi-Wan Kenobi yeah. like and he's doing that so I mean like it just has the same energy you're basically just Ewan McGregor is what I'm leading to which is which is the ideal situation yeah now, oh see, my me, gosh, are I... you joking? Did I just climb this whole entire thing and it's just at the bottom of the... <laughs> I oh told you some of you are going to be at the bottom. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. I thought some of them were going to be at the bottom. What? <laughs> I'll keep this close. Why does she keep um, saying, I'll also... keep this close? She has another one, too. Um... Uh, Eddie, there is a beast we should kill back here. Okay, so then I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, it's this way. My I know, guys. I saw the one on top that I missed, but I was just... I was too focused on my current task, and I... I can oh. recognize that I did something wrong. Uh, whoa! Whoa! And there's an orange whoa. item, too. Oh, this whopper flower is being, like, so rude. I'll keep this close. Okay, well, apparently oh, my you lean have is... to use that now. <laughs> my lean Eddie is... picked up a grenade mod that says cabron. <laughs> just, just funny, because he's Latino, so he's like, yes, I love this. Okay, I think the other one's over here, maybe? Yeah, I see you. What's this? What is this floating in the water? Hello. Oh, it's money! Ooh, I like money. That's the one thing me and Paimon have in common. Money and Mora. Yay. Money, 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 money. Guys, I'm sorry I missed the chest at the money. very top. Those guys were attacking me and I was just I was just very focused on my current task. I'll keep this close. How come I how come my Lamine's only using one of her chest lines? Um, I found that with Mona until, like, recently. Finally, Mona used her second one. So, I don't think it's just, like... Because I didn't even realize there was a second one until Mona said it. All of a sudden, I was like, wait, what? Literally, nothing... Oh, fine! You want to fight? We can fight. If that's what you really want... Can fight. I've just been trying to be. Steady, steady, go. <laughs> oh, Barbara, Barbara, did you just? Did Barbara just one shot that Whopper flower? Did she? Because that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he. Oh no, he drowned. I was gonna be keep so impressed with Barbara. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now I have to get the ones here. They're like, oh, a sweet flower. Okay, wait, huh? <laughs> So, I think the next ones I want to get are, like, here. On the other side of the thing. Okay. DT, <laughs> DT. Woohoo! Barbara was like, enjoy the water! <laughs> Shoved him into the water where he could drown. Am 
my... Okay. I'm right where they should be. Do I then have to erase all of these pins later? That's um, yeah. It is a little annoying, but I promise you it's less annoying to do this now because you'd be doing it later anyway, and then it's more annoying because then you have to retrace your steps. That's fair. And that is not fun. Because again, I had to do that yesterday, and I oh, regret no. everything. Oh no, Lamine, I'm so sorry. I did this to you. Oh no. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Lumi. <laughs> this is on me. Okay. We'll just, you know what? We'll just save some energy right here. Okay. I just want to take this time to say thank you to my mods. Brandon and Diamond and Loxiel and Raya and Kali. Y'all are the best. Um, and I also want to say thank you to Karina Becker for surprising me and hopping into the point, uh, hopping into the stream just hey for funsies. Why not? Why not? Okay. What was that? I don't like it when I hear mysterious noises in this game. Yeah, it can be kind of, um, oh, what's the word? Foreboding? Is that what yeah. I'm thinking of? Disconcerting. Yeah, that. Oh yes, thank you, Morbus and Drew. Wait, is that one at the bottom? <gasps> no, that better not be one at the bottom. There is one right at the bottom. Okay, that's Walls. fine. That's fine. This is fine. Oh, there was another super chat. <gasps> Yamaguchi's yawn. Thank you for super chatting. Hello. Welcome. I do feel like I am. I have somehow passed it. And that's. That's upsetting for a variety. Why is it like so slow all of a sudden? <gasps> what is that? Oh, I got. I got the moon chase charm. Yay. Okay, here's the thing. There's supposed to be three right around here. So there's one here. So fun fact, Felicia who voices Mona in Genshin Impact also voices a character in Borderlands 3, which is what I'm playing right now on my side. Of course, I'm not streaming though, so it's not like you can hear it, but we just got to her character in Borderlands 3. Yeah, she plays Ava, dude. I told you that yesterday. Wait, is that it? Oh, no. Ah, fly! I think maybe that's the... I think maybe that's it, like, in between. Also, um, Felicia is also a very nice person, and I'm so glad she moved out here. Just wanted to... Yes, I don't really I, know Felicia. I hope, you all, I hope you all get the joy of meeting her at some point. Dude, Borderlands 2 is definitely the best Borderlands game by far, but I do, I, I like 3, um, and I also like the pre-sequel and 1, of course. I also think, like, the Telltale games of cool. Borderlands was really awesome. Oh, I got a dull blade! Oh yeah, dull blade! Gotta have some dull blade! Let's go that into somebody. Okay. So there's this one. Oh, there's also this one. Look at us. <laughs> Is this an anti-
answer from this world? Is this an answer from this world? Ooh, I love that one too. Oh my gosh, I think all of these chests are down here that I was looking for. <laughs> well, nope, just kidding. Because I don't think any of the moon chase chests are like ones I have to fight enemies for, are they? Um, some of them are. There, oh. there are a few that are. Yeah. So that oh, one like is a moon. One. Yeah, that one is a moon chase one. We'll need more where that came from. Oh, we'll need more where that came. Yeah, from. I was actually surprised that some of them were too. I was like, wait, did I forget a chest? Like, I'm pretty sure I hundred percented this area, but I was wrong. Some of them are moon chase. Okay, and then there's this one over here. Oh, a golden crab. We'll need more where that came from. All right, Yay, Jesus, that's crab. enough of you. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I do kind of feel like I need to get these, like, more, uh... Um, so Sarah, you know how I'm doing my spooky Saturday streams on YouTube and stuff? Oh, yeah. Um, this Saturday I'm gonna play Prey. What's that? Um, it is a space horror game with aliens. This um, sounds scary. It is scary. Uh, my, my editor will be like, I didn't think it was that scary. And I'm like, Chris, you are also not as jumpy as me, but you know, whatever. Um, so if I cry during the stream, it's his fault. Oh, he's, no! He's in the chat right now, so I know he's hearing me while I'm saying this. Um, because he I also, I, I saw him. I've, oh my god, you honestly, okay, here's the thing. Was it funny at the time that it was happening? No. But I have a video of me on YouTube trying to play Resident Evil, and it's just a small, like, clip. Like, there's two different clips of me trying to play Resident Evil 2. And here's the thing, I am, I have an irrational fear of zombies. Like I, I am a scaredy cat to begin with. I will yeah. literally cry. No, I'm not allowed back at uh, like um, Universal Horror Nights because I punched somebody. No. Um, because he scared me so bad. He scared me. I was defending myself. I don't think I did anything wrong. You just punched a random person? He was he was a scare actor and he scared me and I didn't respond very well and I don't think I did anything wrong and so yeah I'm literally on a list I'm not allowed back at Universal uh, specifically for Halloween Horror Nights this is like actually true I'm not like because here's the thing Brianna Knickerbocker she's all about horror and she was like well we could go to Halloween Horror Nights it's not that bad and I was like that's a joke right and she's You're like, like what? I'm literally not. Banned. and I'm like I'm literally banned from there Brianna and she's like what and I was like so it's funny that you think that Halloween Horror Nights is not that scary because first of all it is it's terrifying and I know that because I got so scared there that I punched somebody and um, it, it was self-defense and I still to this day don't think I did anything wrong. Um, that being said, the person that I punched is fine, by the way. He's fine. I'm, I'm not that strong. Did, did um, you like, did they, did the person like take their mask off or something and be like, what the heck? <laughs> no, I basically, he was, he was really good about staying in character. Like I definitely punched him enough to get a, <gasps> like he wasn't prepared for it. I'm, um, uh, and then of course I got escorted <laughs> by some security guards. Oh my gosh, that's they, like, so the, funny. Yeah, they, they sent me, I went, I had to go into an office. They asked me for my name. They have my driver, they took down my driver's license and everything. And they were like, so here's the thing. You're um, never allowed back again. You're not allowed back specifically for Halloween Horror Nights. You can come back to Universal at any other time, but you're not allowed back during Halloween Horror Nights. And I'm like, you know what? I'm honestly okay with that. You're like, this fair. is the like, no, it was honestly the best band of my life because now I never have to try and convince a friend that I can't go because this was also at the time, like, guys, I shouldn't, like, I tried to convince my friend. I was like, I shouldn't go. I get scared at, like, the dumbest things. Like, you know, I, I get so scared. Don't make me go. 
um, all this stuff. And of course, the scare actor also was a zombie, so of course I punched him. Right. Um, because zombies are the worst. Like I get scared of everything, but zombies are literally the top. Right. Like, the like top in your one defense, thing that I am afraid of. In your defense, he deserved it. You know, because he yeah. was a zombie. No, Chris, you would never drag me there, though, because you are nice enough. But at the same time, you're also making me you 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 suggested prey. So if I cry, it's your fault. Um, I I do feel like perhaps. Oh wait, is that it? Is that a chest? That's a chest. That is not the chest that I'm looking for, though. It is not scary. Like, don't get me wrong. Obviously, like Chi Chi or I'm stuff like Plants vs Zombies, I'm fine with. But like. It took a while for me to play um, Left 4 Dead um, without getting scared from it. It took a long, like, a lot longer than normal because even that game is, like, camp. Is and this it? I'm so confused. Also, though, my friends let me, uh, like, I heard that the witch crying and I didn't know the game. And so I was like, should I go towards it? And they were all like, yeah, you should totally go towards it. And I was dumb and I listened. <laughs> oh, no! Oh! Oh, no! Another test subject! Oh, oh. Bye! That was below par. That was below par? First of all, how dare you? Be gone! Bye! Um, but yeah, if you want to see a video of me, like, screaming and crying and stuff like that because I was playing a game about killing zombies, um, my YouTube channel has two of those. Oh my God. And honestly, it is quite funny. Like, um, like in the moment, I will say it was the worst time of my life. But watching back at it now, I'm like, no, it's it's really funny. <laughs> Eddie even yeah. just said it's really funny, so. Well, Eddie says it argues that it was really funny in the moment for him. Oh but, my you gosh. Know. Eddie! <laughs> also though eddie 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 was like um like you can't play any more horror games when i'm right next to you because you scream to the point where i will lose my hearing well that's on him you know yeah that he, sounds like a him he, problem he's so close to me yeah that I sounds suppose. like a personal problem yep personal problem for sure okay so what there is one of these missing I haven't gotten one of them in this area. Right? Okay. Oh no, there's another one. No, one, two, three. There's one over here that I haven't gotten and then I'm done in this area, I think. Oh no, I missed one over here. Okay. Oh, um, I got you another orange thing. But then I'm done. You should really bring the Knights of Pavonius with you. I also got you another orange thing. Oh, wait, so. there is that thing in the sky. Is that what it's talking about? No. There has to be another chest over here somewhere. Hmm. Yes, everyone, I if I need help, I will ask. I am using a map, so I should be able to find this. I always have to tell chat, if I ask a question that's not directed directly at chat, please don't answer because that's usually me just asking myself. Because yeah, I talk to myself because I'm 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 weird and neurodivergent and it helps me think. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to figure it out. Like, I'll be like, where is it? And I'm like, I'm not asking you, chat. I'm sorry. I, I realize I said that out loud, but I have to because my brain won't function if I don't. Okay, this looks like it's to the left. Maybe it's down here. How am I using a map and I'm still... Oh! Is it... This can't be it. Well, this is one. Actually, it's the next one. It's it's soon. 
that you get the iridium puncher thing. Okay, this is not on the map for sure. <laughs> I just found one that I do not see on the map. Well, it definitely should be on the map because it was on mine. It's like in the middle of the water. Yeah, but that's not on the map. That's on the... It should be on your map. Well... Okay. I'm gonna go get that thing. Well, oh, look, there's... Hello. I have a feeling I'm gonna drown at some point. Um, so, uh, <laughs> how, how are you with, like, scary things? Are you, are you a wuss like me? I get so scared, and I, okay, because here's the thing, my friend just contacted me and was like, I know you have a thing with zombies, and I already know you have a bad track record with Resident Evil, but, and I was like, what do you mean, but, Christina? Yeah, I don't, and she was like, I don't like that but you just said. She's like, the new Resident Evil movie, though, looks terrible, and I honestly think you'll be fine for it. And I was watching the trailer, and sure, the trailer, for some reason, has, you know the song, um, and I wake every morning, and I step yes! outside, and I take a deep breath. Okay, you know that song? Yeah. The hey, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey. Yeah, that song is in the trailer for Resident Evil. I don't know why. It's really weird that it's there. And I don't think it fits, but at the same time fits because Resident Evil is kind of camp. Okay. But also, I've like, never watching played the Resident trailer, Evil. Good, don't, because I, you know what? Instead of playing Resident Evil, watch the two YouTube clips that I have of me playing Resident Evil, and that will tell you everything you need to know about it. Um,. But Resident Evil is a mixture of like being scary, but also camp because like it's kind of, like it gets ridiculous at some point. Like the game I watched Eddie play Resident Evil Village, and um, that was a trip and a half of like a mixture of oh this is kind of scary and oh my god are you f are you friggin' kidding me like what is this? Um, because it's just gotten that insane. Um, like, 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 to the point where, like, Resident Evil 8, they literally chop up your baby's body and then separate it, but yet you can still put your baby back together towards the end of the game. Oh, I don't like that at all. Yeah, like, you're, you literally, like, you're like, where's my baby? And then they're like, you have part of her, and you look down and you are holding this vial that has, like, its head on there. Oh my god. Like, and so it's the baby's head. Oh my gosh, I don't like that. I don't like anything that's too graphic or scary. It's not even graphic, you don't even necessarily see it. It's in a vial that's like very dark green, so you barely recognize anything in it. Except the word of your da like your daughter's name and its head. That is terrifying, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, I played Resident Evil 2 because I got to a certain amount of subscribers on Twitch, which I now have to like be like, okay, if I reach like 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, I'm gonna have to plan something else now. Um, but um, yeah, uh, Resident Evil 2 scared the crap out of me and the new Resident Evil movie is based off of Resident Evil 2. And while watching this trailer, like, yeah, it's really weird that they have that song. It seems very unfitting, but at the same time fitting. Um, and also it did still look terrifying to me. She's like, doesn't it look terrible? And I'm like, no, it looks like I'm going to cry. Like, I will go and watch it with you. I'm actively afraid. Honestly, I, I, I told Christina, I was like, Christina, I will go with you because you want me to go and I love you and um yeah. But here's the thing, um if we get kicked out because I am crying and I'm going to make a lot of noise when I cry. <laughs> um it's not my fault. And she is like, "Okay, fine." And I was like, "Okay, cool." Yeah. So, no. now I'm going to go into this movie that I'm terrified to go and see. I don't really watch like scary movies. I don't either, unless I'm forced to, because all of my friends love, uh, like, Brianna Knickerbocker loves scary movies. Christina and River love scary movies. Oh, Tiana loves scary movies. Eddie! Uh, like, 
I've actively told Brianna Knickerbocker, I was like, can you please, like, like, it was funny, Eddie and Brianna were planning on going to a lot of scary events type stuff and whatnot, right? And, um, and I, uh, like, Eddie, Eddie was like, we can't go every Saturday. I need at least one weekend with Karina. And I was like, no, October is the one time of the year where I don't care if I get a Saturday with you. Go and get all of your scary stuff you need to get out because you know I'm not going with yeah, you. Yeah, you're like, go ahead like, and do it. Go ahead I don't want to participate. I don't want to participate in that. I don't want to go. I don't want to get kicked out of another theme park for punching somebody because I got scared. Fair. I'm good. Like, go without me and take every Saturday in October. I've I'm pretty much, like, been, like, like every Saturday in October is all for you to do whatever you want with all your friends at every scary thing ever. And um, I don't want, it's totally fine. I accept this, uh, you know? And um, uh, it's funny because like even Brianna at one point, because I love Brianna. Brianna and I are really good friends. We're really close. And she even was like to Eddie, like, hey, Eddie, do you think like the Queen Mary would be okay for Karina. And he was like, hey, babe, what about the Queen Mary? Nope. Absolutely not, Eddie. You know I can't do it. <laughs> you like, know I can't. Pass. And she was like, it's not that bad, though. I'm like, unless it's on the level of, like, Disneyland, it is that bad. Like, I'm, I, <laughs> there is no way, unless it is literally Haunted Mansion, Disneyland levels of camp, I do not do well. Okay, I'm looking for, I saw it. And I would really prefer not hurting actors for doing them their jobs, which right. their job is to scare you. And I, I would really like to not right. have- They're just like doing their job. Yeah, and it, like, you could sit there and be like, you just really need to be in control of yourself. And I'm like, okay, um, I'm sorry. We're just supposed to ignore that part of our brain that says protect yourself when somebody's in your face screaming at you, pretending that they're gonna kill you. Right. Like we're just supposed to ignore that. Like right. I'm. I don't know how you do that. I don't know how you ignore that impulse. Especially since I'm I'm neurodivergent. We literally already have a problem with controlling impulses for normal things. Right. For not horrible. But Terrifying horror, things. I'm supposed to ignore that magically somehow? Yeah, you're out of your mind. Hard pass. I can barely control my impulse to buy a new stuffed animal every time I see a new one. Like, Yeah, but that's like no... an impulse that you should ignore. It is an impulse no, that I, I mean, should ignore. That's, because that's, I have... that's an impulse that you shouldn't ignore. Like, you oh, should, I, you should I always mean, get... You say that, plushies. but Eddie is, Eddie is like, we don't have any more room. Yeah. <laughs> You need Although, to make more room. <laughs> don't have any room. Okay, but I want more. There are you know what, Eddie? I would that... like a big ass toilet. Eddie, that sounds I... like a you problem. That there's Eddie, no Sarah says it's a you problem. Yeah, honestly, I should get rid of my bed and get the giant Snorlax that you can like sleep I in because it's basically a um a uh sl a, like <laughs> beanbag chair. I want that giant Snorlax so bad. I also, oh my god, I told, I told like all of my subscribers and Twitch and Twitch and YouTube subscribers, I told all of them if you want to give me a gift for Christmas and my birthday because they're basically the same day, um, I would really like that really that three hundred dollar long Meowth. Meowth's not even my favorite Pokemon, but the fact that long Meowth exists makes me happy because that's like a mixture of pokemon and memes and i'm here yeah. for it and um like yeah i i just want i just want that meow so bad it's so big and long and it's just long cat we love meow and meow's a cute kitty okay oh there it is <sighs> I did though get a plushie oh, no. for Eddie for his birthday. I um his favorite Pokemon is uh Shuppet. I got him a uh Shuppet plushie. Aw, that's so nice. Yeah. Okay. Are there more charms that I can see? 
Do I have to get every single chest to get the fish thing? Yep. You have to get every single chest and charm. Great. Yeah. That's why I told you to mark them down so that way you yes, know. Yes, I have been marking them down, but there's this one that I just. Yeah, it's really hard to find because some of them are high up and some of them are low, and it's just like. But wow. I already went all the way up. On this particular one. It could be on the side of the mountain, too. You'll have to, like, look on the way down. It's rough. Because that's how I missed one. It was, like, ha it was like partway up the mountain. Like, towards the bottom-ish, but not really. I don't, I don't, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, you, that's right, you can ask for hints from the, um, lady, uh, but you can only ask for hints once a day, and she only gives you a certain amount. Um, which is why I say wait until you're, like, to the last few, and you really can't find those ones, and then just say, like, go back to Liwe and ask for a hint. Okay, I'm gonna give up on this one for now. And I'll come back to it. I mean, if you want me to yell at you while you're fishing, I can. Um, Who wouldn't want that's that? My, that's what I do to Eddie now every time. <laughs> it's actually, so when he plays Genshin Impact, because he plays on his PS, PS5, and so that's downstairs right next to my computer. So every time I'm like, uh, he, he fishes, and then Paimon will go, Is it another Paimon? And then I'll do that. I'll, like That's when I do the whole, like, thing right after and I, I go Eddie is it another Paimon is it another Paimon I feel and like I just he loves that oh yeah he gives me the deepest stare of joy. Um, of joy pure yeah. joy no I I believe it's a pure joy and and if you are like no. Sarah how do you know that it's pure joy uh, you know what I'll tell you I can tell in his in the deep sadness, sad yeah. look in his eyes. In, in the honestly, it's almost like a reverent look. Like he's like, yeah. he's like, wow, I have been blessed. You know what I mean? Yep. I, that's I, the I that sure I did the right thing, get. dating a voice actor. Mm -hmm. That was smart. I um, know he. I know he's not questioning any of his life choices. Um, no, he sense. doesn't question any of them. I'm, I'm, I wasn't planning on you. <laughs> right, yeah, Eddie? Just... Yeah, you, you don't regret any of your life's choices, right, babe? Mm -hmm. Not one single one. Mm -mm. He said I regret everything. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> I disagree with that. I think he's just been messing with us. First of all, you can see it in his eyes that he's filled with joy. <laughs> mm-hmm. When he hangs oh, out with I'm all sure of his voice you actors. Love the fishing lines. I'm just saying when you live with somebody who uh actually voices the character and they realize that you certainly love a specific line, like really love it, they will repeat it often and a yeah. lot because yeah. you super love that line. Because you super love it. And that's that is a gift. Yep. That's special. It's it's a gift. Yes, Gigantamax Meowth. I want Gigantamax Meowth. Guys, I don't know why it's lagging. On my end, I can see that too. I need to check on my like internet or something. Um, we are going to um, go for another eight minutes and keep searching, um, searching for these. Um, Whatchamacalls sits. Um and then I wonder if it's because I have this thing open. I know guys, I know it's lagging for some reason. What if I exit out of this? Candy loves BTS. I love BTS too. I'm trying to get tickets right now. I'm on the okay. waiting list. It's so sad. Maybe that helped. Hard to say. Chrissy got them? What? Chrissy got the BTS tickets and not me? Oh yeah, Chrissy's so excited. Okay, okay, we're gonna what? keep going for a little longer. Hopefully that just fixed the lag. If not, let me know. But I think that may have just fixed the lag. Um. <laughs> So we are gonna go for a little bit longer. Um, what's that? Oh, I obtained a geo sig sigil, 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 sigil. Uh, 
Um. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Don't do that. Just don't. A sweet flower! Oh look, there it is! This is what I was looking for. the other one? Oh, hi. Did you just run away from me? How come if they fall down, I have to chase them? That feels like a them problem, not a me problem, you know? Mm-hmm. Can't see anything. done with the chests the like if you look at my map i think i think i did i think i have like a bunch more here but i think i i think i did pretty good progress my mods can tell me if it's gonna take me more than one more stream to finish all of this i mean i finished it in one stream yeah but you're good <laughs> i doubt that but but I mean, like, I've already been doing this for two and like, a half Like, I went hours. a little, cause like, yeah, I went, I went, I usually stream for until like about 10, like eight to 10. I went to like 1030, cause it took me a little bit longer, but I was really close to getting them all. So I was like, I am not stopping until I get that friggin' fish sword. Well, we're, we're, I'm doing tomorrow, I'm doing more moon chase. I, oh, I okay. Yeah. Well then, by uh, if you're doing more tomorrow, then then you can go ahead and ask the lady like where they are, and then you can get another one tomorrow. Like you get uh, you get basically one hint or one set of hints. Per Do I day. get to decide which chest it gives me a hint on though? No, it's See, random. See, that's a thing. I would rather wait till the end because right, because then it can be stuff that you really need the help on. Right, right. That's kind of what I was thinking. Okay, well, I guess we'll move on. <laughs> ah! I'm falling. I'm falling. It's okay, I think. Okay. Where is this one? Oh no, there's a bunch. Oh, they're in the sky. Oh look, there's a Geoculus too. Yay! Um, for the person in chat who asked if I will cosplay as Lumine one day, maybe. <laughs> I have a Pylons cosplay, so if you have a Lumine cosplay, we could take pictures together. I know. It's it's something I definitely am interested in doing. I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> oh, uh, babe, I opened this thing so you can get the... Oh, there's one! Oh, there's a Geoculus, too! Oh my gosh, there's a ton right here. No, I opened it. Yeah, I just opened it. Do, 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 Hey! Okay, wait. Let's I'll mark keep it. This I'll keep this close. Lumine is so pure. I love Lumine. Mm hmm. Here's the problem with some of these Geoculi is that you're really supposed to get them using a Geo character, and I don't actually have one. <laughs> Are you supposed to get them near using a Geo character? I almost never did. Well. <laughs> well. Then maybe I'm just bad at getting them. <laughs> okay. Is that high enough up? I okay. did use Ether's Geo thing a few times to get them, but I mostly used um, uh, Sucrose. Oh no! I missed it! Ah! It's okay. I am 
using the Sword of Dissension. It is a PS4, PS5 exclusive. <laughs> Woohoo! It's Jaculus! Okay, 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 okay. Where are the other... I feel like they gotta be up oh. there. I'm probably not doing this right, because I'm kind of, like, focusing on whatever catches my eye. Like, right now I'm getting the, like, jade things. Oh, take that. And that's probably not the right way to do this, but you know what? You win some, you lose some. Yeah. It's not about being perfect. It's about making progress. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, that was so inspiring. <laughs> Words I live by right one now. One time... Oh, there's one! One time, uh, I was looking for... I was trying to get this Geoculus for 50 minutes. Five zero minutes. Oh my goodness. And Zach was on stream. He, like, hopped in to say hi. And so he was hanging out and just laughing. Watching and laughing. Oh. And finally, Christy! Christy finally hops in and says, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I just, I had to come because you need a Geo character <laughs> to get this one. <laughs> Zach, like, let you suffer for so long, and then finally Christy was like, I'm gonna help because Zach Christy was jerk. like, I can't take any more of this. And then, oh, God. And then, so then I Christy love came into my world and, like, helped me get it, and then Zach was like, oh, yeah, huh, I could have helped you get it this whole time. I was oh, just, my goodness! He just, he what? Was, he was having so much fun, like, of laughing at me <laughs> that it didn't occur to him to help me. No, because no, it's Zach. It Why was would... almost a full hour. It's so funny because like I I I I have I have actively been like, hey Zach, um, do you mind helping here? And he's like, oh yeah, sorry. I'm just kind of dumb sometimes. Sometimes like you really have to actually tell me, oh yeah, I should help. Like he's and it's not like he's he's not rude. He's just honestly like forgets that. Oh yeah, I could help. He was just laughing so hard. Well, because, uh, yeah, like I said, it took five, f 50 minutes. Almost an hour. <laughs> Brandon's like, I'm shocked, I tell you, shocked. Oh, Brandon also uh, mods for Zach, so. <laughs> I mean, I don't, like, I do the same thing too sometimes. Sometimes I get so into, like, what's happening and, like, watching that I'm like, oh, right, I can help. I'm such a jerk. <laughs> Oh, look, there's two chests down there. Hello. Hi, welcome. Hello. Like, actually, me playing this game with Eddie, I get so far. Um, I'm I'm over-leveled right now compared to him because he started a new character today. And um, he was dying, and I was like, oh, you're dying. And he was like, yeah. You're like, interesting. I'm dying. You this can revive me. I and I was like, though. oh, right, it's a team game. <laughs> what is, where are you guys coming from? I do feel like, yeah. Yeah! Um, I will say this though, you are really good at helping. Um, sometimes. Like, you came to my world and helped me, like, level up. Yeah, that was fun. My characters, because I didn't know what I was doing. Like, you and Christy just came into my world and did domains with me. <laughs> yeah! And that's always fun. Okay, bye. Okay, so there's this one. Hello. You know what? Uh, Shaki, here's the thing. I, I don't, it's, I do believe that, oh look, I got two! I do believe that Zach thought that eventually I would figure it out on my own. Like I don't, that's yeah. not what I'm not saying. I'm not saying that he didn't think that because I do think that he like actively thinks that I can be better than I am. But I think it just was a more of a situation where it just like didn't occur to him to help because he was having so much fun like laughing. <laughs> I mean, I also don't blame him on that. I was like, it's I was like, launching myself off of like yeah. a mountain over and over and over again although i like okay you know zach and i not too long ago streamed um keep talking and nobody explodes um and it was super fun um i'm also either really good at puzzle games or really bad at them there's no in between i'm never i'm never like just okay at a puzzle i'm either really good or really bad no in between and um 
And so luckily, with the whole the whole thing, with nobody's uh, um um er, er, everybody keep talking, nobody explodes. I also like have really good short term memory because you know with dubbing you have to have short term memory. Um, and I was able to memorize like a full page Wait, on that's the thing. Awesome. Yeah, and so I was uh, like, even in the thing, I was like, so I don't want to appear like I'm cheating, but I already know, like, what what thing it is. But he was supposed to read it off to me, not the other way around. So I didn't want to tell him, oh, it's the first, like, it's the first column of it, Zach. Look at that. Right. So I wanted him to find it himself, but also it's a timed game, and you know, if you don't make it within five minutes, the bomb explodes and you lose. So at some point, I was just like, Zach, it's the first column. Ah! He was like, whoa, what? How did you know that? And I was like, like, because it's, 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 I memorized it. Okay, let's, moving on. Let's You're keep moving going. On, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Also to whoever asked, why am I marking the chest? I am marking the chest because I am using a map to find all of these. And if I don't mark them, it's harder to figure out which what? ones you already found. What is happening? <laughs> I also remember him constantly saying, you're like really good at puzzles. And I'm like, I really don't think I am. I think you're good at puzzles. I just, when we did It Takes Two, that's like all puzzles. Right, but I, I had already played that before. So that's not fair for me to be like, oh, I'm good at these puzzles when I already played the game. I think you're allowed to say that. Yeah. <laughs> I will say that, you know, like, okay, I was the worst. You know those um, toy stores where they specifically have, like, brain teaser-y type games mm -hmm. and stuff? And they have some out for you to try out. And there's always these ones where you're supposed to try and pull them apart. And, like, um, if you get them apart, you figured it out, right? Like, that's right. the goal of the puzzle is to get it apart. Um, I was the kid that would actually solve all of them and then go up to the front and be like okay i did it now what and then the people like working there would be like um because uh, uh, like what do you do you can't say well you have to buy it now like it was it's a tester and if they figure it out they figure it out right <laughs> i would funny. be the little kid that would figure it out <laughs> i love that though that's so funny <sighs> oh look a viewpoint hello viewpoint Oh, wow. I always like those Thank stores. you, everybody, yeah, for subscribing. I appreciate you for subscribing. That's not what I meant to do. And then, of course, there's other... Like, oh, my God. Okay, I, I definitely get this trait from my dad because, like... Don't ever play the game Clue with my dad. Um, is he just he, like really good? I he can find out who the killer is within three people of asking questions. <sighs> what? Like no joke. I I still haven't figured Don't out how he does treat. it to this day. And like I used to think, okay, he's paying attention to who's saying what, and like like well, three three people of asking questions is is a little bit of a stretch. But three rounds, I'll say three full rounds of people asking questions he can figure out who the killer is. And that's pretty friggin' fast in the game of Clue. And I still don't know how he does it because I, I, I was trying to figure out how he was doing it for a long time. And I was like, okay, maybe he's just really paying attention to who's asking what. And that is part of it, but there's something else that he does because I tried to throw him off one time by asking questions for things that I already had and he still was able to figure it out. And I was like, what the heck? Maybe he's just like really good at a reading people. On the road. No, he's not road. good at that. We're both autistic. We can't read people at all. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> We're both really autistic. That doesn't happen. Okay. Let's... Also, this is the man that for the longest time, like when I was a kid, it was very clear that he was trying to just like, he was trying to be a good dad, which I do appreciate that. But he was definitely like, well, Karina is... Well, at the time we thought was a girl. It turns out I'm non-binary and also not a girl. Um, but like, um, uh, so I'm gonna buy them really girly things. Right. And of course, in Christmas, I would be like, oh, 
And I'm 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 not good at faking happiness, especially when it's like I'm not expecting it to be something that I really don't want. Um, so I would be the worst at like the the whole poker face of like I like it. You're like, I oh, I love it, but you're like actively broadcasting how much you hate it. Yeah, because it would always be something that I'm like, what made you think that I ever liked something like this? Until he finally figured out, he figured it out now. Now he's like, he like, every time Christmas comes around, I actually wait for his gifts because he finally figured out, just get something that is ridiculous and Karina's gonna love it. Better than nothing. And he's figured that out now. Because of like, there was one time where he bought me slippers that were like Converse shoes, but they were still like house slippers. They were so comfortable. Wait, but that, they were designed those are cool. They were designed to look like Converse shoes, and he was like, I saw those, and I was like, I knew they would be for you, and I, I like, wore them until they, they literally got holes in the bottom of them because I loved them so much. I love that. Yeah. And they were so comfy. Sometimes. And like, then another time he got me Pokemon socks, and I was like, this is the most perfect gift. Thank you. <laughs> like, well, I like, who them. doesn't want those? <laughs> right, who doesn't want Pokemon socks? My my mom even was trying to talk him out of it though, and and he was like, no, I really think Karina is gonna like this. And of course, my mom was like, oh, I didn't think you were still into Pokemon. I was like, I'm sorry. What made you think that? Who's <laughs> not into Pokemon? What? What? I like you literally took a trip to Japan, and I said, get me two things, which was Sailor Moon stuff and Pokemon stuff. So Wait, what in your right mind? You know what that reminded me of when I just said like, who does like Pokemon? It reminded me of that Oprah Winfrey. Um, uh, the Oprah, um, the Oprah interview with Harry and Megan. <laughs> and she yeah. goes, who's having that conversation? <laughs> <laughs> and someone's like, someone's like, I don't think uh, people like Pokemon once they're adults. It's like, who's having that conversation? <laughs> right? Well, and also like, you know, as an autistic person, Pokemon was made by an autistic man. I didn't know that. Yep. Pokemon, was, um, the guy who made Pokemon and fought, like is basically the godfather of Pokemon, made it and everything, is autistic himself. Oh, I love that. So of course I love Pokemon on top of that. That just makes it better. But again, who doesn't? Right. Love everybody, Pokemon? like even neurodivergent, neurotypical, I don't care. Everybody, everybody who grew up in the nineties should love Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, I, even people that are, like, Ooh, indifferent to oh, Pokemon, no. like, they don't even play the games, they have a favorite Pokemon. Oh, I, I, no. I know people that, like, never collected the cards, never collected, like, played the games, but they still even have a favorite Pokemon if you ask them. Ready, steady, go! Go! Oh, Oh yeah, because this is a fire one, so actually Barbara's gonna do really well against this one. Rack and ruin. Rack and ruin! Whoa, that was so unnecessary. Vengeance will be mine. Vengeance will be mine. Eye for an eye. Eye for an eye. Go, Barbara, go! Go, Barbara, go! Uh, oh, there's still something there that I'm supposed to fight. I'm gonna... Babe, I'm gonna go back and collect the stuff for this other... for this side mission, so that way we can... Get out of here! Windblade! Windblade! Prepare to be blown away! Barbara, because first of all, 
Barbara is a sweet, Barbara didn't do anything to deserve that. Bye! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was super fun for everybody. Thank you. Oh no! <laughs> Why? Why does this keep happening to me? I'll keep this close. I'll keep this close. This is my Lumine protection squad. And <laughs> for right now. You know, Eula's good for that. Eula, Eula is definitely a protector. Yeah, we've got, well, actually, kind of Lumine is my, like, strongest character. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Um. Oh, you got sent back all the way to me. Sorry about that. What? Oh, not again! Okay. That's rude. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Like, I'm trying to help people of Mila, and like, you're acting like this is all my fault, you know? Wingly, I think I remember. How do I climb to the top of this thing? I, you know what? Here's the thing, guys. Nobody asked me what I wanted, and the thing is, I don't want to do this. So. Okay, okay, all right. Oh my word. It's like. Where are you guys even? Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm coming to you. Bye! <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's me singing the song. Yay! Does it kind of sound like it? <laughs> Perfect. Blood of Frost! Blood of Frost! Who's that? Okay, so there's one on More top speed. of here. More speed. <laughs> oh no! Not you again! <laughs> oh no! How do I get up there? Oh dear. I have to climb something really high and then um, glide down. I just, that's kind of what I did, but then. There we go. Oh, there's the chest. Hi, Whopper Flower. How oh, you just appeared on this building. And the thing is. I don't want to make you feel unwelcome, but you're particularly unwelcome right now. Um, I actually have encountered a fan that recognized me at Disneyland, and I wasn't expecting that, especially because I was in my wheelchair at the time, and usually when you're using your walking assistance, uh, people tend to ignore you. Really? Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> I didn't know I, that. Yeah, uh, it's... It's a blessing and a curse because, like, the worst thing is when, like, especially at Disneyland, you know, with the wheelchair, it's kind of hard to stop 
immediately, especially when you're going down a hill. Um, and there are children that will, yeah, there are children that will walk up right in front of you and you will almost run into them every time. No, was actually no, kinda, no, 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 I'm just kidding. I, well, there was a time where I accidentally did that once. <laughs> and luckily, the mother of the child um, was really awesome about it and was like, see, that's what you get when you run ahead of me like that. And I felt so bad, and she and she was like, "No, he needs to learn from his mistakes. If he's gonna run ahead and get run over by a wheelchair, that's his fault." And I was like, "I love you right now." <laughs> um. Okay. I mean, first of all, parents should take responsibility of their kids, so I'm glad that. Um... Yeah, she was totally cool and was like, "Nope, it is my kid's fault. He needs to apologize for you. He shouldn't be running right in front of a wheelchair." <laughs> Um, okay, I'm gonna take this chest. We're gonna do five more Is minutes and then an answer from this world? we are saying goodnight because I am gonna do more tomorrow and also anyway. my mods deserve a rest. <laughs> because it seems a little bit from the bits and pieces that I'm seeing that chat is being a little rowdy. So, hey chat. Let's have a chat. Let's not do that. Be cool. Please be cool and be nice to my mods. And we listen love them. To them. Yeah. I'm bored on the road. A good way of getting not banned is by listening to the mods and being a cool person. That's a good way of not being banned. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's that? What's this thing that's like pulsing with? Oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, a uh, scarlet quartz, right? Okay. Oh, look, another one. Ooh, a goblet. I feel actually really good about the progress that we've made. We are going to do, I am doing more Moon Chase Festival tomorrow. I guess we will start with this. Once you finish with the chests, though, there's not, like, a ton of, like... There's there's 40 chests and 30 jade stuff. Right, but I mean, once you get all the chests and the jades, um, there's not that much left of, like, the actual festival, right? Um, there's more, like, there's two more places where you can find stuff, I'll and it's basically just look. finding stuff to improve the fish sword. So, yeah. And then there's... One where you basically like offer up food and you do this like series of fighting bad guys. Um, and then there's one more thing that I haven't done yet, but I'm planning on like streaming that tomorrow as well. So we should do it together. What time are you if streaming? We're both doing the same thing. Yeah. What time are you streaming? I'm streaming at eight. Okay, well, we're starting at 7 30, but Perfect. I don't think, then, you know, whatever. Yeah, because I think I have more to do. I I have a, quite a bit to do. I've oh, okay. only done like two things of the Moon Chase Festival. <laughs> I'm like I'm not gonna finish because we're gonna we're gonna end now. Um, yeah. <laughs> and so I'm not gonna finish getting the chests, but hopefully I haven't I even tried the third thing that you can do. But hopefully we can. Um, I will finish. Oh no. Oh no. Burn! <laughs> Whoa, this one's only Bye. level 32. That was easy. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So, yeah, we will... Oh, no. A reward on the road. A reward on the road. How is no one annoyed with me yet? Um. Okay, so, yes. I think it is time to finish up this stream. Oh, this is it. This is the last chest we're opening. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. This has been amazing. Um, thank you to Karina for um, hopping on and hanging out. Thank you for having me. Yes. And um, join. Uh, we're going to figure out how we are going to 
through the rest of the Moon Chase Festival. I will be starting tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. here on YouTube. And um, Karina is going to be streaming tomorrow at 8 p.m. on Twitch. And yep. possibly we will finish the Moon yes. Chase together. I have an, I'll be finishing the rest of the chests tomorrow. So again, Karina and I will chat about it afterwards and figure it out. Figure out what we're going to do. Um, but I do want to say thank you to my mods. I want to thank Brandon and Diamond and um, Loxiel and Raya and Kali and Drew. Um, thank you guys so much. Thank you for being such amazing stream mods. I could not do this without you. And um, thank you to everyone in the chat who has hung out during this stream with Karina and I. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. And again, um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and um, for notifications of when I go live. And also follow me on Twitter because I post uh, my stream schedules there. That is at S. Miller Cruz. And uh, my YouTube channel is Sarah Miller Cruz. So um, I hope you have a great rest of your day or night wherever you are. And that's that's it, I think. Um, thanks again to Karina. Yay! <laughs> okay, Thank we you, will Sarah. we will both see you guys tomorrow on our streams, and we're gonna figure out maybe doing a collab stream for tomorrow. Ooh. So keep your eyes open and your ears open, and we will let you know what's going on. So good night, everybody, or good day, whatever.